And greetings, everybody. I am Resplendent Seraph, and today, tonight, I am going to be streaming a little more Battletech as we continue to prowl the periphery in the search of the almighty Seabill. Uh, welcome, everyone. Uh, I'll be also putting this up on YouTube, so uh, if you're watching this on YouTube later and you ever want to watch live, feel free to cruise over to my Twitch channel and give me a follow. And uh, you can, you're more than welcome to contribute uh, and watch live. Uh, my chat section does love to, uh, uh, well, mostly laugh at my expense, but, but we do have a good time, uh, all jokes aside. Uh, my week is going well. I hope everybody else's week, can, uh, week and Thursday night is, uh, is going well. My, uh, my recovery continues to go well. Um, every day is, is a little bit better. Some good day, you know, bad days and good days, but mostly good days and still mostly, uh, kind of trending up here. So, um, yeah, without any further ado, I don't really see any need to go into a gigantic, uh, diatribe over, uh, over recent developments. Pretty much everybody pretty much knows the, the score at this point, but I, as you all know, I'm more than happy to be a complete chatterbox. And uh, let's get to what would actually help if I actually set the in game. Granted, it's still loading, but there we go. That's perfect. Marvelous. And hopefully, we'll have some better luck this uh, on this particular stream uh, than we had last time. We uh, we ran into a little bit of trouble. We had some poor luck with uh, with what should have been a milk run. We were supposed to uh, a client uh, hired us to. Um, get a uh, biological sample and an agent and uh, an extract, but uh, we only accomplished one of the objectives and then we had to withdraw because we our mechs started taking component damage and we were uh, we were getting beat up pretty good. Um, but that's kind of how it goes with this game. A lot of times it, it works okay. Uh, it does like to throw us curveballs, but uh, most of the time I feel like I handle those pretty well, but that certainly was not the case with that particular mission, and even after thinking about it a couple of days, I'm not so sure that that mission was accomplishable with the mechs that I had at that point, and with the Op 4 that was actually defending those two targets. Because uh, even if I had gone over the water to deal with, now granted, the way we did it really set us up for failure. I kind of picked one, and uh, that was, that was not the right plan. Because <laughs> uh, what ended up happening was we ended up fighting the short range lance in short range and allowing them to spot you are. The, long the long range lance so it could just hit us with their long range ordinance from the safety of the island. And it, it just ended up being, it just ended up being bad. And it was like, kind of like a disaster. Um, but anyway, so we still, we still actually do have some money here. So even if, as long as we don't get take a lot of damage here at Clough's stand, um, we should still be okay. But in a perfect world tonight, we'll just be a nice, hey, Sir Ram, how are you? Welcome. Uh, so yeah, I'm hoping tonight is just like this nice chill stream where we just have some fun and engage in, you know, 
31st century geopolitical violence. <laughs> uh, that actually ended up being, that actually ended up being a way more quirky sentence than I had even intended. Um, but greetings, Saram. How is your day? How's your week, actually? I haven't kind of seen you. Uh, I think the last time I saw you was when, um, when I was uh, kind of lurking maxi stream, although I wasn't really lurking. Yeah, chill and violence sounds right, right? <laughs> ah, yes. The, uh, the oxymorons are very plentiful today. But no, in a weird kind of way. Yeah, we're going to proceed with this contract. Um, but yeah, this, this game, I at least find it very relaxing because it's turn-based, even though there's, there's tension and there are stakes. Ooh, and Glitch is healthy. She's my favorite pilot. Uh, so we'll put her back in the blackjack and maybe that was what doomed us for for failure We didn't go in with glitch. She was our best. She's our best pilot. I mean, we're gonna feel like, like oh Yeah, you were mentioning something about work playing games with your schedule and whatnot. I, I I'm sorry to hear that Uh, yeah, it's not fun. I am good. I continue to improve um, My sutures at this point haven't hurt for a couple of days, but they have progressed into the I'm healing, but I'm going to be itchy as ever living hell phase. So it's mostly me just trying not to scratch my neck. Um, but but so far, I continue to do better. Um, did physical therapy yesterday, and they had me actually lifting like little dumbbell weights. So I judge that as a remarkable um, uh, I guess goal or uh, landmark. There's a word for that. It's late. <laughs> Seraph is normally doing pretty good, except for when my brain doesn't work. Yes, the itchy heel. Yes. Um, but but so, uh, my physical therapist continues to have me doing new things, so that I'm judging as, as good progress. So, uh, yeah, the itchy heel. I'm hoping... So they're dissolving sutures, so at some point they're going to just dissolve fully and then fall out, and I'm hoping at that point it stops being super itchy. Um... But yeah, until then, I just have to not itch it. So every so often I like tap my neck and <laughs> so am I. Oh my God, I cannot believe. I mean, considering, I mean, I'm not going to bother. Ever, <laughs> I'm not going to bog down stream by going over exactly kind of what went down. But um, considering what did happen and the injury that it was, I, I'm amazed. I mean, this is a month post-surgery. Um, so yeah, I'm, I was not... I'm not oblivious to the fact that I, you know, here I am at work basically doing a normal day's job and I'm like man a month ago I couldn't walk or use my arm and here I am just uh running around and uh not running I don't know if I'm allowed to run yet but but getting a lot of walking in and just uh being social and saying hello and solving all sorts of problems so um yeah things are good um Oh, uh, so I, instead of a herniated disc, I had a ruptured disc. So part of my, part of my spine exploded. <laughs> uh, I laugh at it now, but it, 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 it was not fun to go through. That was, that was pretty, <laughs> it was bad. <laughs> um, but fortunately, um, yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, so we're doing a morally, oh, we're ambushing a convoy on, on behalf of some pirates here. Um, yeah, we're gonna be wiping out the escorts. Uh, and so, what? What? Why is the planetary? Oh, we're going after the planetary government. And uh, oh, okay. So the planetary government's moving a prisoner of the pirates, and they don't want her to spill her secrets. So we're gonna ambush this convoy and make sure that. Uh, oh yeah, snitches get stitches. Yeah, this is this mission. <laughs> so yeah, snitches are gonna get stitches in here. <laughs> yeah, part part of it is. So in my neck portion, um, between my fifth and sixth cervical vertebrae, the disc in between didn't herniate or bulge so much as it ruptured and um so yeah my my the fifth vertebrae then started to just kind of collapse on the gooey mess and it was pinching the nerve that controls my right arm and my right arm stopped working um but it also was kind of oozing back and it was squeezing my spine and that was um preventing my basically preventing my brain from controlling my right leg um so yeah yeah, it totally sucked. Uh, <laughs> so as we get uh, rolling here, um, yeah, it was funny. My my surgeon, who was a fantastic surgeon, um, even went over like it's possible you might take like a year, maybe two years to restore uh, function and all that. Uh, and our employers are signaling that the convoy has entered the region. Time to move out. 
and uh, I pretty much was walking around and had uh, full functioning out of my limbs within like four or five days. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was, I, I, knock out. I was so, so lucky that despite the fact that the nerves were being squeezed and crushed and everything else, that they actually didn't get damaged. They were just being squeezed to the point where signals couldn't get through. And once the pressure was relieved, all those signals went through and, and none of them were actually, uh, it looks like anyway, none of them were actually damaged. How, no, I didn't have it, how I managed to get through that with no nerve damage, or at least minimal nerve damage, I, I have no idea. I am obscenely lucky. Uh, here's what we'll make contact with the targets. Once we start shooting the convoy, I'll probably make a break for it. Intercept them. Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Once they're dealt with, head to the evac zone. So we're going to we're gonna kill the convoy, and then we're going to move over here. And hopefully, this is going to be fun. All right, Darius Oliveira. I finally was able to pronounce his name. I was having the worst time pronouncing his name. I, I pronounced it wrong once on stream. And, <laughs> and at that point, the, the wrong way to pronounce it stuck. So now we're down pronouncing his name right. So, uh, why, why, thank you, Saram. Uh, so it's nice to see you, as always. I hope work stops, uh, stops kind of jerking your chain around. Um, they, right, they should have used easier names. I mean, Darius is actually a pretty easy name. But yeah, that, that last name is a little, um, <laughs> is a little tricky. Uh, it's not a very common name, so it, it's not something you hear very often. Uh, stop the convoys from escaping. Okay, so I stopped them from going there, and they're going to be about here. So we're going to... All right, perfect. And yeah, this is the scale. So here's a, you know, a seven-story building, and here are our battle mechs. So we've got, like, building-sized robots uh, that we're inside of. And uh, we're going to raise some havoc, and hopefully we're going to have some fun doing it. Last time we did this, uh, we had a mission like this, and the enemy... Um, the enemy pretty much had their way with us. It was it was pretty bad. It was great content. Everybody, the chat was certainly amused at my misfortune. So we had a good laugh about it. But uh, hopefully we don't have too many of those because uh, we're only going to have so much money and we can't be just dealing with expensive repairs all the time. So let's move up. Got it. Yeah, no one would mispronounce Bob. <laughs> They should have asked me what what names to put in uh, what names to put in there. Although this game was cool during the Kickstarter, a lot of people that funded it, if you contributed to a certain tier, and I missed it, otherwise I would have. Um, a lot of the Kickstarters got added as pilots in in the game, so you could hire essentially. A, I'm pointing at the screen as if you could see it, but um, <laughs> but like for Renegade, Glitch, Behem you know, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, when we go into a star system and we look to hire pilots, um, we might end up finding uh, some of the Kickstarter pilots. I actually really like the Kickstarter pilots. Uh, they, I, I never found, I have not seen a low effort Kickstarter pilot in here. Um, I think they're, they're, they're all like super cool. I mean, there are pilots that are unique that were included in the game, but uh, I'm quite a fan of the uh, of the Kickstarter pilots. Let's jump jump up here I've got eyes on the target perfect where are they where, are they? where is our target Over here so there's the escorts Darius must see them huh you know, still not appearing on my scope but whatever um yeah let's go up this way because they have to travel traverse all this Let's just cruise over here. Position confirmed. <sighs> but yeah, other than some muscle tightness, that's really all I'm kind of kind of dealing with. Um, really, really, really lucky. Uh, so yeah, so for my surgery, they took out the discs that uh, that um, disintegrated. They actually replaced two of them because they replaced the disintegrated uh, ruptured disc, and they also replaced the one above it that was also herniated. So uh, I, Seraph is now a an inch taller than he was a month ago. Uh, so that was actually pretty neat. I didn't realize that until I kind of showed up for work and I'm looking at one of the uh, associate deans who I used to look kind of a slightly up to and now I'm looking slightly down at him and I'm like, huh. <laughs> yeah, my, my neck is actually an inch longer than it used to be. There somewhere, huh? Hmm. 
So let's I think we'll have you sprint up this way. Hopefully we can get through there. And maybe we'll see somebody. There we are. All right. Detected. Is that the convoy? Are those the escorts? I think those are the escorts. All right. I think what I want to do is have Glitch run up this way. We'll have Glitch run up this way. You betcha. Let's have you. Really? I can't. I don't have enough jump jets to get over there. Um, yeah, all right, let's, oh, that's lame. I don't, because I, I wanted her to get up here. All right, let's, um, let's jump over here. Let's just I see copy. what happens here. Yeah, I am sl ever so slightly taller now. <laughs> I am now an inch taller. So, you know, all I had to do is have a piece of my neck explode. <laughs> So we've got a political leader over here in Florida that I guess in the three months that I was down, I missed some really interesting stuff. Um, there was like some sort of weird, <laughs> well, unfortunately, ah, well, thank you for the lurk. I appreciate that. It is always good to see you. Um, it's always good to see you. <laughs> uh, thank you for dropping by and I appreciate the lurk. Um, and as I continue going on about this, I'm going to because somebody else may know about this weird story. Uh, one of our political leaders um, over here apparently decided to, to like either put like elevated shoes or was walking on his tiptoes to look taller or there was something along those lines. And so everybody was calling me him like as sort of as a joke. And I'm like, um, I'm so out of the loop. <laughs> and at that point, they just started laughing. Uh, so anyway, I only see these two mechs. I don't see the convoy, so that could be a problem. But let's at least... Engaging jump jet. Let's engage these and see what we're dealing with. All right. Oh, we're dealing with a Shadowhawk and a Griffin. Mm, that's not great. Um, let's see. The Griffin's got a lot of armor. The Shadowhawk 2D does not have a lot of armor. Oh, okay. Well... Sure, let's not fire the SRM. We'll just fire these. We'll at least do some damage to this thing. Maybe, assuming I could hit. But we didn't. That's all right. Let's see what happens here. We got another mech coming in. And they're going to fire. They are also going to miss. That's an LRM-5. Cool. Okay. Well, so we're just missing each other. <laughs> all right. How do I want to? That's not crap. All right, you know what? Let's let's do this and see what we're dealing with. Wish I could. Ah, there's our convoy. All right, so our convoy is over here. All right, so maybe what I'll do here is we'll fire at this shadow hawk because it doesn't have any evasion. It'll be easier to hit. Yeah. All right. So based on this, let's try and deal with the escorts first. We'll get a bonus if we deal with them. It looks like there are only three at the moment. But there could be a fourth mech hiding out there. Let's try and do this. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go for it. All weapons. Perfect. All right. Oh, and we got a head hit. So that's nice. That Griffin could be a problem because it's going to have a PPC and it's going to hit us a lot. Yeah, that's all right. We'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. All right. Glitch. Good to go. Let's have you advance. Have you advance. All right. On my way. I think I'm going to bother shooting at you. I think I'm just going to shoot at you twice and hope for the best. Got it. All right, well, not terrible. Getting the convoy is going to be a problem, though. Hmm. All 
All right, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to prioritize the Centurion to get over here so I could smash yep. them. But I may... So that's 70. If I go up here... Oh, well... Yeah, okay, fine. <laughs> Let's go max offense here. And let's really light this guy up. All weapons, fire. Really try to mess up the Shadowhawk. Come on, come on, come on. All right, well, but still. Did some heavy damage. Yep. Ah, uh, PPC carrier. Yeah, that thing could really do some damage to us if we let it. Okay. How do I want to do this thing? Waiting for orders. Let's uh let's advance you. torso twist to avoid the more damaged spots and yeah let's let's wreak some havoc on you there we go cool that's a critical hit actually if we knock that mech down that pilot's gonna die because we've 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 hurt the pilot twice now Oh. Detecting mech warrior injury. Well, that was unlucky. That's going to be a problem. But, um, oh, I could just go up there. But, let's see. Hmm. Thinking here. Well, that, that mech's already moved. So, I do want to try to get over there. Or I could just smash that thing. But I'm inclined to do the... Yeah, let's just do this for right now. Let's advance. Let's advance. And let's do a precision strike. Yep. Let's hope for the best. I think I missed, didn't I, with the big weapon? Yeah, I did. Oh, that stinks. Oh, well. It was kind of a waste. Ugh. Well, of all of it, though, that's the, the spot of the mech to do damage to. Because there really isn't anything What's critical that, in there. Really? Oh, I jumped on there. God damn it. All right. <laughs> okay. Fine. <laughs> Let's jump over here and try and kill this mech. Toggle the SRM on. Oh my god, you guys are all missing with the good weapon here. That's alright, we still took out the center torso. One less target. Perfect. Alright, so now they only have two escorts. That's important. Now well, that's not good. I should have done vigilance. I didn't realize how much stability damage he took. Internal damage. What do you need? Let's cruise over here and alright. Oh my god. Yes. Moving out. Let's try to kill the SRM carrier. Holy shit. Uh, yes. Because I really don't want to have to ever deal with that SRM carrier. Um, yeah, let's try to kill the SRM carrier. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. <laughs> that was what wrecked us earlier last stream that was terrible Warning. Armor breached. Internal damage. yeah this might knock me over so this this could be bad yep this is gonna knock me over crap that's my own fault I, I didn't realize how much stability damage I took. What I should have done was activated Vigilance instead of Precise Shot. That was, that was my mistake. Detecting mech warrior 
And unfortunately, I've now taken two mech warrior hits. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Fucking inferno carrier. Well, at least I wasn't heating up already. But yeah, inferno carriers are also awful. This is pretty much the worst possible arrangement of bullshit to deal with with regard to uh, a convoy. <laughs> Inferno carriers, SRM carriers, like, oh my God. The game is really trying to fuck us over. Um, like, like they're, they're, tr they're fucking us bad. <laughs> um, all right, so let's toggle one large laser off, but let's see if maybe Maybe the fact that we're shooting the broadside of this thing, we hit the same look. You know what? Let's not play around. Let's just precision strike. We won't overheat. Yeah, let's. Strike, Commander. Let's do that. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my God! And it's still distributed. Oh, okay, good, perfect. Thank goodness. That's I thought it was gonna hose kill. us. Oh my God! Did it just? Oh my god, it just killed my Centurion. <sighs> wow. Wow. I cannot believe they killed that mech. <sighs> Fuck. Oh man, is this place is this playthrough so is this playthrough fucked? Um cuz that's going to that's going to cost like a million C bills to fix. Now your your main pilot can't die, but it, I'm going to be in the med lab for months. That's going to be like a million C bill repair bill. Um Wow, that's that's terrible. Meanwhile, all my other mechs are like undamaged. They solely focused on the Centurion and killed it. That is terrible luck. And I, you know what though? If I had activated Vigilance, I would have saved myself this trouble. Oh. All right, do I cheese this and just restart the mission? I think I have to, because otherwise the playthrough is completely borked. Um, I don't like doing that, but I think, I, I think we're just gonna have to do that. Cause yeah, that 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 completely that that just destroys the playthrough. It really does. I don't like doing that. I really, really don't like doing that. But long term, I mean that that would basically net us a game over if we um, if we kept going. Just financially, we we would we would run into a, a a money problem. Not to mention the pilot being in the mech lab for freaking forever. So let's let's try this again. This time with less oops. Command interface. Oh, initiate. good grief, Seraph. Oh, that sucked so bad. Well, let's try this again. This time... It's time without running into that kind of a problem. And that was... And we... Except for taking so much damage to one mech, we weren't doing too bad. It just sucks that... Um, it just sucks that this is now two missions in a row that we really ran into trouble with. <sighs> Granted... That one was avoidable. That was very, come on, go there, thank you. Uh, that one was really avoidable. Um, I'm kicking myself for not doing vigilance the turn before. I, I just, I didn't see how much stability damage it took. Damn. Well, all right, let's try this again with less suck this time. And hopefully this time one of our mechs and pilots doesn't get completely obliterated. Because yeah, we, we we wouldn't have been able to afford that that damage bill. If this were an Iron Man campaign, that would be that would have been game over. Like seriously. Uh I have actually I don't think I've ever had a playthrough of this where I've had to avoid a situation like that using the restart mission. Um you gotcha. like I was just kind of taking my lumps. Um Our good grief, man. Sensor range. Oh, it's unfortunately it's unfortunate I've had this poor luck with being on stream that part objective. sucks <laughs> would have been would have been much nicer to perform better but i guess so them the brakes jesus game 
But I guess it's also a good lesson that you really do have to be on top of things because it will be merciless in, uh, in its efforts to try to completely ruin your day. The AI really doesn't mess around when it when it can. But we've already had a better luck with a mech that it sent after us. Although two two Shadowhawk 2Ds, they're not very heavily armored. If we had gotten a chance to really uh, put some ordnance on them, I mean we killed one of them, but I think we would have had an easier time uh, taking them out if we could have. Uh, gotten some shots off on him sooner that's all right a little bit of humble pie but we'll we'll still make it so i think knowing that there are going to be cons uh escorts coming in over here we can make a slightly more intelligent decision this time around um yes commander we're gonna send you up this way yeah we're gonna have the cover of the building and we'll torso twist it that way just in case something else shows up. This really isn't... Yeah, I'm just shooting the medium laser and some SRMs just to whittle its evasion down. Actually, we hit pretty decently on that. Okay, so this time, take two with feeling. Ah, see, I'm glad I did. So, yeah, I'll, we'll advance you. Be nice to get an AC-10 out of this whole thing, too. Because the Centurion ha not having an auto, a better auto cannon is also really handicapping us. I really should have a better auto cannon than this. Mm. Yeah, we're going to have plenty of missiles. This is not going to be a problem. Yeah, mixed bag. It's about the damage I would have expected originally. So, Waiting for order. Yeah, let's uh advance. Same thing. Yeah, that's this one. I read you, Commander. Moving out. We're kind of picking on the uh Phoenix Hawk that kind of ex overextended itself. Yeah, we'll just toggle that off for heat management. Alright, there we go. Did some nice damage. And now we should really fuck up its day. Yeah, Medusa. Uh, yeah, let's let's go over here. I'm sure that works. There, and I think we'll just fire everything. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? We'll fire everything at it. Oh, that was interesting. All right, now we're talking. This is going much better. <laughs> Jesus. Tale of two missions here. Yep, it's uh, it's gonna try to bug out, but it's that's not going to save it. Although it. It might be trying to, um, it did probably go over there and brace and guard, so... Ready for orders. Should... You know what? You fired, so let's go up here. Here we go. Let's see. Let's give ourselves some options. Oh, really? That's terrible. Hmm... All right, we'll just toggle that off. We'll just fire these. That way we at least shoot it. And I think I am going to pursue the Phoenix Hawk now then. Oh, well, maybe not. We'll see. Okay, that is going to be a problem. And I'll explain what I'm worrying about now. Is it missed? Damage. So the building... Buildings can collapse. Yeah, I'm going to jump off this the second I can <laughs> a second I can. If this building collapses, I will take falling damage and that's terrible. What can I do for you? Well, let's let's do this and just kind of see what happens. Yeah, I think even Moving with out. it being braced. Ugh, oh, that's pretty terrible. 
But all right. I think even with that, I'm still better off doing an alpha strike here. Yep. All weapons are go. There we go. Still doing some nice damage. Good. It just missed entirely. It didn't actually do damage to the building. Hmm. Yep, Renegade, let's advance. And let's do damage to you. The shame I... Well, I could have tried actually positioning over here. I may have been able to hit you with the LRMs from there. We'll toggle the LRMs off. And yeah, let's just see what happens here. Little by little. So I see three mechs. So the escorts might only be three mechs. Yeah, they're not doing too much damage to me. But Standing doesn't by. necessarily mean anything. Uh, all right. Yeah. Pick on, let's pick on the Phoenix Hawk here. Even with it being guarded. Let's see how the light works. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, there we go. One less target. That's what I was hoping for. So if, basically I was crit hunting. So I managed to detonate its uh, magazine and it exploded. What I was worried about. Damn. Minimal. Rap. How much damage did I just take? Well, it wasn't as much damage as I thought, actually. Thank goodness. Well, now I'm in cover. But yeah, that was the problem there. All right, I gotta... Armor breach. Internal damage. Hopefully I can go now. Good grief. Yes, okay. Ready now, what I should have done last time, but I will, I definitely will this time. And I knew better. I don't know why I didn't do this, but... We're going to reposition. We'll still be in cover. And uh, now I will do Vigilance. And what this will do is we'll clear off all that extra stability damage. Yes. Uh, so now I'm really well armored. And uh, yeah, we'll just fire that. That's fine. I'm not really all that worried about it. I just want to... I just want to tick a uh, evasion pip off. That's okay. You did your job, Behemoth. And at least I don't have to worry about her falling over like I did last time. Well, I'm taking like that shot negligible damage. So what is actually... Yeah. Um, okay, I've only got a... Yeah, basically the leg armor is now gone. So that, that's going to be something I definitely take a, Good to go. Keep an eye on. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. We'll advance because we know these uh, transports are coming through here. So let's try to get to them. On my way. Plus, I could get take some fire off of her. Yep, we can make that shot. Let's make sure this. Let's have. Let's give this Centurion a bad day. <laughs> yeah, we just melted a third of its arm. A man. Well, maybe a fifth of its armor off. But still, a lot of armor that just vanished. Perfect. And then I'll uh, do a physical attack next turn to cool off. So, I think that might be... Maybe, maybe this? Hmm. Not great. Yeah, there we go. Alright, we'll do that. And yeah, we'll target the Centurion. Let's position here. We'll, we'll, we'll engage the escorts for a minute. Because what I don't want to do is have to fight the escorts and the convoy itself. Especially if they do what they did last time to us. And it's SRM carriers and all sorts of other nightmare fuel things. All yeah, it was a shitty location to hit hit with the AC-5. Because like my Centurion, there's really nothing in that left arm to damage. Alright, a striker isn't too bad. An SRM carrier or an Inferno carrier will be awful. Okay. I think... Good to go.
I do believe that is the right call. Let's just advance slightly. Now, I won't be able to fire the medium laser. Yep. But we will be able to put in a nice LRM-40 into that. So we're going to do that. There we go. And we got its torso. Good. Nice. Got past his armor. All right. Let's try to avoid... Oh, a mana core. A mana core could be bad. That could definitely do some damage to us. I'm surprised the convoy's coming directly for us instead of trying to just avoid us. Now, well, there's another PPC. Yeah, of course it hits me. Whatever. All right, we're all right here. So far, so good. I'll just have her go. Oh, no, 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 no. Shit. Damn. I'm losing weapon systems. Yeah, I know. That's the problem, though. If you, if you get focus fired like that, left and right, a lot can happen in a very short period of time. Yes, Commander. <sighs> yeah, that really stinks, man. Um, I think... Yeah, you're the only one that could go. So I think I'm going to just continue to shoot at the Centurion here and try to Moving maybe out. knock this guy down. But I got to get Glitch in there as soon as I can. Yep, let's fire at you and hope for good things. There we go. All right. Next turn, I can knock that guy over. Knock him over. Oh, come on, come on. Well, all right. Just don't hit a leg. Don't hit a leg. Thank God. That could have been terrible. All right. Um, still can't really advance where I would like. So, thinking is we'll just... Damn. Damn. Shit, man, really? Wow, this sucks. <sighs> I really don't want to be doing that. I also don't want to be maneuvering away that way. Maybe what I should do is just advance and shoot at one of the mana cores. Probably what I should do. The problem is if I move up here, I'm worried this vehicle can then skirt around me. I definitely don't want that. What I should do is just move here. Yeah, that's what I should do. I should just move there and shoot there and just hope for the best. I mean, I could precise shot it just to guarantee, but... You know what? Actually, I might just do that. Let's do that do that. Go over here. Do a precision strike. Make sure we hit him. And let's, let's try and do as much damage as possible here. Perfect. Good. That will knock down the Centurion. So I'll be able to call shot them the entire rest of the... Oh, we incapacitated it. Even better. Okay. We've killed two of their mechs. Problem is, this Shadowhawk is getting really damaged. I need to have it start shooting other things. Good. Okay. Well, at least I have it shooting at you. I need to have Glitch stand. Commander? Yep. And they're also overheating. Back up and ready for more. That's fine. Yep. Attack. Oh, it was all that damage was just to that freaking arm. Uh, all right. So she's not actually as jacked up as I thought. So we'll cool down. All right. We still managed to hit with both small lasers. Cool. Right. So, situation might be salvageable here. Good, 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 good. I want them spreading out the damage. Hopefully I'll have enough... Um, oh, I'd have to detect it. I don't think I could do a melee attack to something like that over there. Receiving you. Without that. Well, that's all right. Uh, let's see. Do I light up the griffin? 
or do I light up the mana core? Could light up that mana core and hope to destroy it entirely. I'm actually inclined to do... Oh, that's a good question. That is a really good question. Is the Griffin... What armor does that thing? Yeah, I'd really rather have somebody over there to stomp them. That would be better. Okay. Seraph needs to make a decision on how I want to do this. So what I should do is send one mech over this way, and it might be Glitch. I might send Glitch over here to try to mess these things up. Because uh, she could shoot one and then stomp the other and hope... And then I just have to hope that that mech doesn't take a, a ridiculous amount of damage because she's not as damaged as the Shadowhawk is. Yeah, that's that's way too much damage. I don't want to risk her going over here. And these two mechs are all the way over here. So yeah, let's... Let's do that and we're going to focus on this griffin. Let's try and take out the griffin here. Yep, perfect. That's one of the reasons why I modified this mech and added the heat sinks, because it's heat neutral by firing the, firing the LRMs, Roger. which is its primary weapon. Perfect. That's exactly what I want. Now that mech can almost be knocked over. I can't knock over a vehicle. Damn it, don't shoot her. Yeah, I'm going to need to torso twist her to make it less likely they even hit the center torso. And I'll just keep rotating her to alternate alternate the sides. Shit. Good. On. Yeah, maybe I should just get her out of there. They've blown past my armor. Yeah, I know, Behemoth. I know. I know. Jesus. God uh, damn it. Dang it, that hurt. All right, so much for that. They've now completely wrecked that mech. Jesus. I'm having the worst time with this. All right, you. Yeah, I really should have enough to melee that. That stinks. Commander. Oh, I need to get you the hell out of there. Um, good grief, man. It's like junk. All right, so I need to get you out of sight, because if I'm over here, I don't even think they can target me. Yeah, this mech is so badly damaged. Good grief. All right, well, we'll do that, and let's hope for the best here. Let's just do that. Still need to target you. Actually, we'll do that, because my back armor, they shoot back armor. What do I give a shit? Yeah, I can't, I can't have their, I can't have them killing her. That's not a, a very good choice, but so it goes. Hopefully that AC5 hits and it knocks it over. Copy that. Good. Come on, knock this bastard over. There we go. Okay. Same the glitch. Oh, it knocked over the torso on that side, but yeah, that's still, that's... I don't like how much damage you're taking. Now, I should. Yeah, I I just have too few weapons at this point. Let's. Uh, yeah. All right. What's the side? Left arm. All right. So let's do. And we'll do that, and I'll at least get into cover. Coordinates received. All right. Well, at least all the damage is on one side. I thought they took out the torso on the other side. So at least I still have a decent number of weapons. Just not great. Um, yeah, we'll go with this. Right, Commander. Perfect. All right. Good. Well, since I can't take that flipping thing out anyway. Yeah, let's kill the Griffin if we can. Let's try to kill the griffin. There we go. All right. At least we don't have to worry about those escorts anymore. Enemy mech destroyed. Okay. 
but good god. Damn it. Internal structure damage. I even specifically moved her. Oh, perfect. Smash the striker. Yep. On my way. Perfect. That'll be a perfect way for me to cool down. Locked on for physical attack. Primary exactly what I wanted. Perfect. Alright. Vehicle trashed. Good job, Medusa. Alright. Now what damage can these bastards do? Hopefully they can't even Oh shit. Come on. Alright, alright. Holding up. Holding firm. I'm taking a pounding, Commander! <laughs> They knew what they were doing there. Oh, shit. Man. Can't take many more hits like that. I know, Glitch, I know. You're gonna get knocked over. It sucks, but oh, okay, cool. Thank God. Good to go. Yeah, just, just get the hell out of there, Glitch. Uh, actually. Yeah, Glitch, just Cruise over here where they can't see you. And uh, we'll just do that. And we're just gonna Light brace commander. you. Yeah, turn your back to them. You have more armor on your back. Normally this is like completely stupid, but uh, not this time. Okay, well, gee, one way I can attack them and one way I can't. I wonder which way I'm going. Fine. Oh. Here we go. But at least this mech isn't all that damaged. Hopefully that means I'm the only one they can attack. All right, well, we'll go with that. Yeah, I think we're gonna try to destroy this PPC carrier. Oh, uh, fine. That's what I'm gonna do. Yep, there we go, perfect. Engaging target. Come on, come on. <sighs> Orders. Over here, I don't think it can attack me. We're gonna do a similar deal here. Yeah, it's only an AC5, but if it hits it in the right spot. Acknowledged. Should be able to take it out. Let's roll the dice. Aye aye. Negative damage. Assuming she even hit. Whatever. What do you need? Whatever. Fine. So we'll do, we'll do this. Moving out. Let's see what the better option is. Might actually be to shoot that. It really might be to shoot the mana core. Man, there's still so much armor left on this thing. Oh, that's terrible. And it's a different location. Mm. All right. Toggle weapons. We'll do a precision strike on this guy. And let's try the same thing. But this time, actually hitting the correct location. Come on, man. Oh, it's two fails right in a row. All right, but whatever. I'll stomp on it, and it's. Oh, come on. Don't shoot the. Fuck. Thank God. Armor blow through. I internal damage. Can't even believe it. It was able to even target her from there. Good. Yeah. Shoot that. <laughs> Jeez, I was actually really hoping I could take out two vehicles I there. Think they can hurt me. I end up 0 for 2 on that. Yeah. What's this? Oh shit. Oh no 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 no. Ow. You know what? Hit. It's not the center torso. System down. But that really sucks, man. All because the freaking mechs. They should. Oh, come on. I can't. I still can't. That's such bullshit. Damn it. This is the shit that drives me crazy. Are you telling me I don't have enough movement to get to this fucking thing? You gotta be kidding me, man. The right side. And of course, I can't get to the right side. Assholes, man. Ugh. All right. Well, fine. That really stinks. Yeah, I know. I know, I know. 
We're going with this. <sighs> yep. All right. Maybe we'll get lucky. Ah, finally. <laughs> Enemy unit destroyed. Oh, yeah, yeah. Waiting for orders. Christ on a stick, man. Uh, yeah, I really can't do anything. Um, yeah, just kind of get over there and let's brace Moving again. And I think I'll do the same thing with Behemoth. I'll just have her jump. Standing by. Just have her jump the hell out of there. And hope for better. Hope for anything better. I need you guys to get the hell out of there. Jeez. Problem is with the repair bills. Yeah, we're gonna take the non-damaged mana core. Got it. Because we always do double damage with melee attacks. So oh. this really should. Yep, and exactly. Get bang for our buck here. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Even though we turned our back to it, but it may still try to attack the Centurion. Oh, come on. Well, actually, I did that on purpose. Cool. All right. And with the evasion, it missed anyway. Sweet. Thankfully, that that strategy worked. And because it split its attack, it couldn't blow through the armor of either. That works. Dumb shits. All right, well, fine, since I can go. Let's now shoot at the damaged one. Hmm. Yep, all right. Well, let's see what happens. Targeting rear armor. Yeah, that's fine. <sighs> Commander? Yeah, shoot it with the large laser, but let's at least take one step away. Firing on target. All right, fine. Since these guys can go anyway. Waiting for orders. And you've got left arm so let's put that acknowledge i think it'd be pretty ironic if uh one of my incredibly damaged mechs is the one that actually gets the kill shot taking the shot leopard inbound commander i'll meet you at the lz well let's see what the damage is wow even with even with having to restart the mission that still ended up not going great for us Ugh. All right, so we made almost half a million sea bills. We made 479. What's going to be our damage? What's going to be our damage bill? Ooh, we can get a Centurion. Perfect. You know what? This is going to... Okay. We may... We may end up okay. That might actually end up freaking saving us. Holy crack on a crap on a cracker. All right, so we got a bunch of medium lasers and a PPC. Okay, we might we might be okay. Even with the damage bill, we might still be all right. Let's see what happens here. <sighs> Problem is both, both Glitch and Behemoth are going to be injured. So we might want to just hire pilots just so we can stay in action depending on what missions are going to be here. Um, we're at the start of a financial cycle, so we could go... Yeah, I know... Yeah, I know, Yang. I know we need to do mech repairs. Thank you for telling us. Yeah, Glitch is going to be action for 35 days. That sucks. And Behemoth's out 18 days. So that is going to be a problem. Um, we only have three healthy mech warriors. Yes, that is a big, big problem. Um, we'll do the hit defense because we definitely could use hit defense. God damn. Uh, yeah, you definitely need training protection. Good to go. Same with you, Glitch. Let's go with the hit Mech defense so we're harder to complete. hit. That order. is a huge deal. Uh, yes, we'll go with the plus training one hit defense. Commander. Yep, I think we're just going to do that with everybody because we're getting complete. we're getting our asses kicked. Um, 
All right, so let's take a look at the mech bay. Let's lick our wounds a little bit. So here's the good thing. We have this centurion, this inadequate centurion that we were using before. Now we've got a good centurion that actually has a proper AC 10 in it. So that is good. I don't think there was anything great in this. So we might just keep the centurion as a backup mech because at least this theoretically is better than than the blackjack. Let's refit this. How expensive is this fucking thing to get going to be to all right, well, we're still we're still in the black here so far. Except I don't have a large laser. Are there large lasers to buy? Of course there aren't large lasers to buy. That's super awesome. Great. Great, great, great. 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 That's just great. All right, let's take out the large laser. Let's put the AC2s back in here uh, that we had in here before. Ammo, AC2 ammo, we'll just do AC2 ammo, AC2 ammo. Um, take out the small laser. And we're now kind of back to the way we, oh no. Uh, probably take out a heat sink. And we'll put in a medium laser. All right. So we restored the blackjack to its kind of original configuration. It's kind of shitty firepower, but at least it's got range and it'll at least be back up in 15 days and we're still we're still plus money. Granted, we're going to go under a million C bills with that, but what can you do, man? That's kind of is what it is. Um, it sucks, but what can you do, man? Um, oh, the stock one has oh, the stock one's got four medium lasers. So how did we do that? All right, so I see how it did it. I see how it did this. All right, so four medium lasers. And we probably added weight. So let's just do... Perfect. That'll be fine. That. Sometimes it does weird shit with that. I'm not sure why it does that, but... This should be fine. All right, not the end of the world. The blackjack's now kind of back to where it was. It's not great, but we have to make do. I'll let you know when that's done. The question is, what we could do is we could just not fix the Shadowhawk. We could just put it into storage, and we could just sell the Shadowhawk and go back to four mechs this way. Let's see how expensive this is going to be. So repair all. And yeah, we're already at a pretty, pretty good premium. I still think this beats... I still think this is worth repairing though. So, hello cat. Hello kitty cat. All right, so I lost an SRM-6. So let's put an SRM-6 back where it was. Had a small laser on here, probably there. Yep, medium laser. Probably the medium laser was over here. Yep, all right. Uh, this stuff wasn't all that badly damaged. Mostly it was over all this over here. Uh, oh, we did lose a jump jet. So let's put a jump jet back on there. Yeah, because we lost that torso. And, uh, let's see. We lost... Oh, yeah, SRM ammo. <sighs> Not going to fire that SRM too much without ammo in it. All right. So we ended up still making money. We, uh, after all is said and done, well, no, we brought, we probably broke even. We broke even. After all that, we, we really only broke even because of the damn repair bills. Um, and noted. Yeah. Be too hard. Yeah, it actually cost us... Our repair bills exceeded what we got paid by about 70,000 C bills. But we got a Centurion out of it. So, I mean, we're still ahead because we gained a mech. And we gained experience. Let's see what's... You know what? Let's just check out the hiring hall. Yeah, uh, some. Well, at least there's one okay pilot. Ready for orders. Not great, but not terrible. So depending on what missions there are, we could try to do it. All right. Well, we got we got missions to do. Oh my god, these are all really hard. Uh, <laughs> shit. You can tell these are gonna be bad. 
We could do an escort mission. At least with the escort mission, they'll also shoot the escorts. So they're not just going to shoot at you. So we could do that. That's a battle. Could try to do this supply lines mission. Granted, it's going to be in a it's going to be a straight up battle. There's probably going to be reinforcements, but it could just be a straight up fight. Let's see, what's the story with this? All right, so we got to return this. Well, we could do this one because at least then we don't need. Actually, this one sounds pretty good. Who would we do this? Oh, it's going to be against the Capellans. But. All right, we may have to do this one. All right, so. I'll read out this as soon as. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what 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 I'm doing here. <laughs> I do like this one. It just it makes me very nervous to because, uh, yeah, Darius is right. When you hear rapid and immediate it makes me think no intel and expect nasty surprises. So I think we should expect uh, reinforcements and problems. So let's take a look at our mech bay here. Um, but we do have three mechs. So if it makes us take the cataphract, we could take the cataphract and we could just run that mission right now and we'd be OK. I'm kind of inclined to do that because we need money. So since beggars can't be choosers, I'm thinking I will hire this guy. We will do that mission. The test drive one, and we will try to make this work. But you know what? Before I do something stupid, let's let's just save just in case this ends in complete disaster and this is the stupidest thing that Seraph's ever done. Standing by. All right. The real the higher fee is is negligible. Thirty six thousand out of you know seven hundred thousand pool. Like come on, um, that's really not the big deal. When it comes to pilots, it's attrition over time. Um, it's too bad we couldn't hire either of I'm these here. two. Because these you. these pilots are actually good. But whatever. Hello, kitty cat. What you doing? Oh, you scratched up your scratching post. You being cute. Yeah, you being cute. My my co-host, uh, my co-host Cleopatra, probably looking to play, but I'm in the middle of playing Battletech. Sorry, honey. You want a pet? I will give you more pet. But that's that's about all you're getting, cat. Um, all right. Yeah, let's let's try this. Let's try this. We're going to do test drive. All right. We've captured the latest pride and joy of the Capellan Co Confederation, a cataphract CTF 1X. It's basically a Franken mech. Um, so our scientists have been reverse engineering the monster, but now they say they need our real data before they can continue. We'd like you to provide that data. What could go wrong? We've located a Capellan lance to use as a guinea pig. Take the CTF 1X down to the planet, eliminate that lance. Needless to say, we don't have another of these, so it's imperative that you return it intact. So what I'm hoping is a lot of the risk with this. Yeah, I need I need money really fucking desperately. So well, we're only talking extra well, well almost seven hundred thousand, whereas almost five hundred thousand. We are talking two hundred thousand more. Literally 200,000 more. Um, question is, is 200,000 sea bills worth the pick of salvage? Uh, I don't know. Because if we're dealing with a lance, we should have mech salvage and we should be trying to put together, should be trying to put together mechs. Part of me thinks this is a dumb idea, but I'm going to go salvage here and hope that we don't, and hope that we don't take a crap ton of damage. So I'm locked with the cataphract. But that's okay. The two Centurions are going to go down. And we're going to take Decker with one. Actually, yeah. We're going to put Decker in the good one. And Slam is going to go in the other one. And we could just run this mission. Let's deploy. And hope we have some good luck here. We sort of had to do the mission uh, that we did when we got here. Because they paid our travel expenses. They're the ones that even got us from the star system that didn't have any missions to the one here that had these. And at least these look okay. Hello, cat. Oh, get some water. I know. Good girl. Hello, Cleo. Who's a good girl? You're my good girl. Who's a pretty cat? Jeez, cat. You're so rough. My second monitor always shakes when she hops up here. 
Uh, all right, so I read that, but Darius's commentary on that is, I'd say this is a terrible idea, but those cataphracts are beasts. Just make sure it doesn't get killed or we don't get paid. Command interface initiated. And of course, we're going to fight in a city, so we're going to have very little cover. All right, Commander, that is the ugliest damn mech I've ever seen. Built like a brick shit house, though. <coughs> Stow it, Yang. We're tracking the target lance in the region, Commander. Move up and put this thing through its spaces. So let's see. And when you're ready to evac, I'll pick you up here. Roads and concrete. Good traction. Could do is that we could at least come up this street so that hopefully whatever we're fighting here, once we deal with it, we'll be closer to the evac zone in the event that reinforcements show up. I definitely like that idea. Rather than fighting over here, having to get through here to then get to the evac zone. Yeah, let's definitely go. Let's definitely go west and then up. That is that is definitely the better plan. I think we can get through here. Yeah, we can get through here. Let's do it. Yep. Go this way. On it. Yep. Archer. Uh, yeah, sure. That's actually closer. Okay. Uh, I rotated the view. So now I... Yep, this is where I wanted to be. That's roughly where I want to go up. Hello, cat. I want to go up that street. So let's go up this way. And I've got a PPC and an AC-10. All right, so yeah, we've got some decent armament in this thing. Go up this way. Hello, cat. What are you doing? Hi, honey. What you doing, cat? You're being so distracting. <laughs> uh. Heading out. Good girl. Good, good girl. Yeah, let's do that. Got it. Yes, I know you're there. Hello. Way. Cat's tapping my arm. <laughs> Hello. You're a good cat. Oh, I know. You're so cute. Ow. Then she's going to bite me. You little shit. Ugh. All right. So this is the only thing that worries me. I'm probably going to have to walk around this tunnel thing. That part kind of sucks, but oh well. Yeah, let's do this. Let's see what happens. I think I know better. On my way. Go too close to that. Enemy detected. Fuck. Well, so it begins. Position confirmed. Yeah, we'll just do this and hope for that. Position confirmed. Let's see what happens. All right. God. Damn it. I knew it. It wasn't going to be just a single lance. So Sumiri here. Uh, XO, I'm tracking an inbound blip. Coming in fast and low like they're making a drop off. Keep us updated, Meyer. Commander, things might... <laughs> things might be about to get complicated. Of course it is. This is actually the first time I've ever tried doing this type of mission, so I, I have no idea what to expect. My guess is this is going to be a shit show. But with any luck whatsoever, Holding. that's well, going to be a non-compellin mech lance and maybe they'll fight the compellins and then we could have at least a three-way fight instead of them just beating the shit out of us wholesale. A guy can dream, right? It'd be nice. Um, so let's see. I'm probably in front. So yeah, let's... Let's go and cover. And let's see what the story is here. I'm actually not sure what I want to be doing here. Oh, all right. Well, that sucks. And that sucks. We're not hitting that sh for shit. <sighs> the Galleon really isn't going to be doing a whole lot of damage to us. And if the AC-10 hits, it's dead. So... You know what? Let's just do it. We're not going to overheat, though. 
We'll shoot the AC-10 and the PPC and hope one of the two destroys the Galleon. Yeah, there we go. Takes care of that. Yeah, that was, that was definitely the right way to handle that. Fortunately, these locusts are going to be a problem. But I'm glad I got to cover as soon as I could. All right, so we'll have Slam go first here. Because he can't shoot for beans. So we'll have him shoot, take away the evasion pip. And at least he'll be a target. <laughs> he can serve his purpose that way. Yes, well, you know what? Yeah, now nah, I'll, just, I'll just shoot two medium lasers and hope one of them hits. Got it. Yeah, I don't think so. That's all right. Yo, uh, here's your Nothing. cat. Now we'll have Decker shoot. You. Yeah, I love Decker shoot. Now he, he at least has a puncher's chance here. Well, no, Slam's the one that had a puncher's chance. He's got, like, a real chance. Uh, we'll toggle off. So well, one of those three should hit. Locked on. There we go. And the AC-10 is what hit. Perfect. Good. All right. Yep. And now... Pain. Well... Uh, hmm. That kind of stinks. I really don't want to be shooting with that many LRMs at a target like that, but... Let's just shoot there. Way. Hope for the best. Whatever. Engage the target. Perfect. Little bastard doesn't have any evasion now. <laughs> of course, we got to worry about whatever that drop off is. Oh, it is Lyran. Okay, it's not Capellan. So they should fight the Capellans a little bit. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, Commander, I've got eyes on a new lance in the AO. Looks like Lyran markings. Damn it. Our employers seem to have sprung a leak, Commander. Those units are optional. If you need to evac, don't hesitate. Oh, good. Good, good, good. But we'll make more money if we shoot and kill them. But yeah, shocker that this would turn into a shit show. Yeah, not a surprise that they're going specifically after the cataphract. Damage minimal. Oh, the Lyrans. What did they bring? Wonder what the Lyrans brought. Ready for orders. Yeah, let's have you try to take out that locust. Moving to position. Plus, you'll be in cover. And the more and the more spread out and in cover we are, the better. Yeah, just try to take out that. Engaging with toggle. Oh, I didn't toggle the weapons back on. I still destroyed it though. Even though Seraph's a Method moron destroyed. who forgot to toggle the weapons back on. Oh my god, that was so stupid. All right, well, at least we got finally the game decided to give us some good luck there. Um, how about that? Wow. Uh, geez, man, kind of brutal here. Um, I'm probably better off going over there and trying to shoot that locust from here. Just for the weapon ranges. We're going to try and do that. Hello, cat. And... You know what? Let's... Yeah, let's make sure we hit. Let's... Let's have this... Locust have a bad day. Perfect. Hey, Iron Ore, how are you? <laughs> Three-way battle. Right? I had no idea what it was going to be. But, uh... Yeah, so let's see if it's a, a typical Lyran Scout Lance or, uh... Or what? We have no idea what the Lyrans dropped here. We're about to find out. How's your week going, Iron Ore? Uh, I think... Let's see. I think we will try to take out... The Locust. I think that's a good plan. Let's just... Let's just advance here and try and take out the Locust. I like this plan. And then we'll have Medusa... Rain unholy hell on uh on that vehicle 
Okay. The first shot will take it out. Nice. Yeah, I really don't feel like Enemy trying to fight the Lyran forces, but we'll see what happens. I mean, so far we're yes, doing okay. So there's that. Wow. Crap. All right. Yeah. All right. Fine. Coordinates received. Guess we'll go here. I wonder what Lyran mechs we've got. We did go for the salvage. So with that in mind, this isn't too bad. Yeah, let's fire at this. Let her rip. We missed with one of those, but That's perfect. The last of them. All primary targets down. All right. So I guess what we'll do is we'll slowly make our way up to the evac, where Sumeri is going to try to pick us up. Um, and I'm just doing some comm chatter here. Sumeri's on station. So once we get to that zone, we can get out of this. I only see two mechs. But that doesn't mean there are only two mechs. It just means I only see two mechs. Let's reserve and see what these guys do. They're, after, they're acting in earlier initiative phases, which tells me they're either light mechs or medium mechs. They're probably light mechs. Let's just sensor lock that. A blackjack. Yeah. All right. Medium mech. Let's see. What do we got? And it's the variant that it's the energy variant, not the AC2 variant. Um, the now the the variant, but we now have to use. What's up, <laughs> uh, let's see. You haven't been attacked at all. So if we go up here, yeah. You know what? Let's attack with the AC10. And the LRM 10. You know what? Oh. Yeah. yeah, we'll do that. Let's attack these guys. Let's go for some salvage. We managed to defeat the first Lance without taking any damage. Uh, practically. I think we took negligible damage. Let's... Let's see what happens here. It's already pre-damaged for us. That part's nice. Receiving you. I don't have enough movement to attack it the way I want. So let's just go here. That way Slam is the one that gets attacked first. Yeah, Slam got attacked a little bit, but nothing crazy. Yeah. Confirmed. Fire an LRM 10 volley at it. On it. Little by little. Commander. And... You can go over here. You'll be at, you'll be in the back. Doing what you do best. Firing an LRM 40. <laughs> yeah. Let's fuck it up. Roger. We'll only do you three damage with each of these, but there we go. But it's the right location. Targets taking a critical hit. Hell yeah, man. Nothing like completely messing it up before it even gets it in sensor range of us. Ah, Javelin. No surprise there. Minimal damage. Javelins are hit. pretty common. So, uh, that being the case... Ready for orders. We're just gonna wait a minute. This part of it gets a little annoying. Really don't want to be shooting through a building. All right, that's enough. <laughs> yeah, so there's the question is how important is the LRM-10 to me? Because if I just get closer, everything else has got pretty decent chance to hit. It's the LRM-10 that's a problem. Whereas if I only advance that amount, the LRM-10 has a little bit better of a chance to hit, but those... I think we'll just close and I'll just toggle the LRM off. Roger that. Because even if one of this misses, should hit the blackjack behind him. Engaging target. That works. Oh, way out. Not a single stray shot. That's lame. What's this blackjack doing? Of course, it hits me with the stray shot, but I don't get a stray shot. 
Boo! <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. It is amazing how often, though, the computer gets the stray shot and I don't get the benefit of the stray shot at all. Uh, that part is pretty lame. Whatever. All right. Let's advance you. Let's just shoot at this this javelin. Hope for the best here. Confirmed. There we go. Good old knockdown. Reporting. Critical hit. Much better. I like it when the missions go this way. <laughs> I like it when the missions go this way a whole hell of a lot better. Uh, right, so I think we'll just advance here. Yeah, I think we'll just go here, kill the javelin, and then uh, we'll be able to just do open open season on the blackjack. Not messing around. Maximum destruction. Wow, I missed with both the PPC and the AC-10. Oh my god, I didn't kill the javelin! <laughs> that is terrible! Oh my god, that is awful. <laughs> oh, so lame! Uh, well, that being the case, do I just shoot at that and... Uh, yeah, I probably should just... Wow. Wow, that's all pretty awful. Um... Hmm. Well, that's lame. You know what? I'm just going to go here and I'll only shoot with medium lasers. And we'll worry about missiles next turn with the blackjack. Not the greatest way to do this, but it should be. Right. I mean, oh, we're not going to kill it anyway. Wow, we wouldn't kill it anyway. Okay, fine. LRM 20 it is. Right. All well. Now it's dead. <laughs> One less target. Look. And it hits with a straight oh, shot. Like, oh my god, are you kidding me? Hard hit there. <laughs> my entire freaking mech or mech bay, mech warrior barracks is a mash unit. Receiving I cannot you. believe this. <laughs> Assholes. Position confirmed. <laughs> oh my god. That's so absurd. And what a lucky shot, too. It does like no damage. Like, to me, that should not result in a mech warrior injury. That's such. Confirmed. I'm actually not a big fan of the mech warrior injury mechanic in uh in this particular game because the AI never has to worry about pilot recovery times. It's really only something you have to worry about which is unfortunate. Um, at least I, I judge that to be unfortunate. Um, wow. Well, all right, fine. Yeah, let's just advance. Heading out. And we'll shoot you with out the LRM. Just, ugh. I think they should give you like one free one or you don't take mech warrior, like you don't take an injury unless you actually take structural damage to the head location. Uh, or something along those lines. That would be, that would be nice. That would be nice. But, oh well. So it goes. That's my little... That's it. Shoot you with some missiles. You're gonna have a bad time. There we go. And we'll get some salvage. I hope we can... Perfect. And because we killed everybody, we don't have to get to the evac zone. Uh, I may have to hire another pilot to do another mission. <laughs> I mean, it still made sense to hire the guy. Um, see, yeah, he was sitting on that chain. Yeah, absolutely. It was total. I actually thought about targeting the transformer. Uh, cause yeah, those blow up. They do some pretty serious damage to you. All right. Now we're making some money. Um, but yeah, Decker, Decker's now out. So, shit. <laughs> We're going to have to hire another new pilot if we want to stay in here and do more missions. I can't believe this. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Oh, we can't complete a mech either. 
Uh, because neither of these are the same variant. Alright, so we'll take the good one. And I guess we'll take the more common one. Although both of those... Well, alright, so it gave us both of them. So there's that. What can you do? Oh, good grief. <laughs> but yeah, I actually did seriously consider shooting the transformer. And I'm like, yeah, it's four against one at this point. But, um... Yeah, I don't know if it happened before you hopped on uh, Iron Ore. I was, uh, I had Behemoth standing on top of a building, and the problem is they missed her enough to, um, ah, uh, so there's, there's our campaign mission. That's ready, uh, to have liberate House Decimus. Um, and unfortunately, I knew the building was taking an amount of damage. The next time I got a chance to go, I was going to jump off the building, but the, they kept missing her and hitting the building. The building got demolished, and she took the fall damage anyway. So that 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 was all she wrote with that. Oh well, it happens. Oh, I don't need this. Uh, I need XP. So, all right. Well, let's see. My all chop bonus. Uh, let's see. Do I want to take the gunnery, the overheat threshold, or the? I think I'm gonna go with the call Ready chop bonus here. That's important. Um, let's go with these. Yep. All right. Standard. Level him up a little bit. I didn't quite get enough for that, but I did get enough for you. Yeah. Let's go with your gunnery. Let's upgrade that. Training confirmed, Commander. Oh my goodness. So yeah. Let's go to the. I think there is a mission I'd like to do. Yeah. I would like to at least try this one, even though it's an escort mission. Escort. I hate escort missions normally. But we're just got above a million sea bills, and we need to try to get that a little higher if we can. Uh, wow, there are two escort missions. Ugh. Um, but yeah, we probably should try to uh, to do that if we can. Um, and maybe what we'll do. Wow, defend base, huh? Well, so sometimes these defend bases could work pretty well. Oh, there's a problem. Mech bay. Yeah, I'm still down to three mechs. I don't get a blackjack back in 19 days. Yeah, I was hoping I would get... That was the problem. I was hoping I would be able to complete a mech and be able to get that. It just didn't work out in my favor. Shit. Okay, so we can't... The only way we'd be able to do this is if we wait 19 days. I mean, we could wait 19 days. The problem is if the financial report hits, then we lose that. All right, well... All right, so now there's the tactical decision. Do we wait 19 days? and heal up and get mechs back or and then do some of these missions or do we <sighs> shit well hold on let's let's go to the store and let's see if we can maybe buy a mech to completion i don't think we can but uh yeah and we really can't even afford this salvage even though i would like to do it but, uh, but we won't get that spot quite right. Uh, although, if I go to the mech bays... Well, we'll get the Shadowhawk back. And the Shadowhawk is technically better than the Centurion. So what we could do is we could... If I really wanted to play games with it, we could send that mech to storage. And with the money, we could buy another piece of Victor Salvage. Ugh. <sighs> Decisions, decisions. I think what I'm inclined to do is to actually just sit here for 19 days till the blackjack gets repaired, even though we're going to have a financial report, and just do a couple of these missions. Um, not not really the way I would like to have done this, but um, maybe we could do a upgrade. Yeah, we could at least do the lounge upgrade and just wait here because that's more expensive. Oh, we could do the structural repair. You know what? Let's do the structural repair. That takes 15 days and it's not nearly as expensive. These are all going to be really pricey. But, uh, yeah, we could do this. Let's do the structural repair. Right, let's buy, right we'll, we'll buy that one and we'll save and then we'll advance. We'll just advance. Because uh, I think there is some decent stuff in the store. Um, 
Because, yeah, I would like to get that vulture or that victor uh, part. We can kind of get well on our way. There actually is some decent stuff in here if we can kind of survive long enough to afford it. Uh, I might want to pick that. You know what? Let's just pick the component up. It's New only 22,000. Right. And now we advance. And we hope that this decision does not come back to bite Seraph right in the tush. Oh, boy. In the morning briefing, Sumiri asks something unexpected. So what's the story with these mech warriors bowling in the barracks hallways? <laughs> Darius crosses his arms over his chest. I've already put an end to that. Medusa and Slam were calling it Corridor Bocce. <laughs> I shut it down as a matter of discipline. You turn to Darius. How much trouble have their games caused? They're playing in unused corridors, so not much, but it was only a matter of time before something or someone got damaged. We really should repair the gym in the beta pod instead. Um, let's see. Corridor bocce. Let's see. Hmm. Only a matter of time before something or someone got damaged. So that's what makes me think if we kind of allow it to happen, allow it to go, it's gonna uh, cause somebody to be injured. You know what? Let's do we'll host one last public game. And all right, perfect. Good. Nobody gets injured and our morale increases by one. But uh, the next day, the Mech Warriors and crew crowd into the narrow barracks hallway to watch Medusa face off against Slam in one final Garrett game of Corridor Bocce. In the winning play, Medusa bounces his last ball off the quarter wall twice to send Slam spinning uh, away towards the audience. The crew erupt in cheers and continue to talk about the match for days afterward. All right, that's pretty cool. I mean, the little events do add a little character to uh, two things. I know when we were playing the actual, like, tabletop and RPG, stuff like that, I mean, yeah, stuff like that definitely kind of happened in the dropships as we were going from star, uh, star system to star system, because it takes weeks uh, to get to places. So, yeah, our mech warriors would get bored and invent things to do. Um... Yeah, unfortunately. But at least our, our pilots will get healed. And hopefully our uh, contracts uh, don't expire. So now we dip back below a million sea bills. But, all right, so now our timeline's paused. Let's go check. Are our contracts the same? They should be good. All right, so now we'll do some of these. Um, I like the idea of doing this, uh, this escort mission for the pirates. We're going to go against the local government. And uh, let's try this first, and let's just see what we see what happens. Wow, we got some decent uh, salvage possibility here. I'm thinking we'll go with this. Let's go with this. We get some decent money. Uh, we always want Medusa with that archer back there. Let's go you here. Uh, we got two centurions. Uh, EC ten. Yep, that's the centurion I want, Yen. Uh, we got our, got our blackjack, and we got our centurion here. And that sounds like a raid. Hey, freak bot, welcome. Um, and we got Decker and Behemoth. Uh, so let's let's put let's put Behemoth back out there. Uh, the Shadowhawk's still getting repaired. Oh, let's put Decker back out there. He's the better pilot. Um, all right. So let's let's deploy this. And in the meantime, let's. Who's over here? And let's let's do some shout outs as uh, Freakbot kind of gets things underway here. How is the uh, randomizer, buddy? Perfect. I'm glad. I'm so glad that worked. <laughs> I never know if that thing's going to work or not. Uh, and while we're actually at it. Uh, I think she's still lurking, but we'll do this anyway. Him. Let's try that again, but this time typing her name correctly. <laughs> there we go. Wow, that's kind of a surprise. The Titan bit was in Blight's hideout. hideout. <laughs> Well, so there you go. Had to just kill blind to get it, but that, it's nice that that worked out. Oh, man. Hey, cat cat. Good cat cat. 
Sounds like things are coming along nicely in the uh, randomizer. And uh, that means you're a good three fourths of the way through both of those games now, right? Should be something to that effect. Something to that effect, I think. Uh, based on what I would imagine. Um, uh, I still need a plasma beam for Ridley's lair. Yeah. Yeah. And it's probably somewhere in Link to the Past somewhere because of course it is. Oh shit, Link's kind of stuck. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's always, always fun. We're about to do an escort mission for this game. Although this is actually a good place, place for me to grab some water. Um, tried going into Lord and Norfair, but didn't... Uh, but still, sounds like it's coming coming right along. I mean, taking... taking well, this is now the, what, the third third stream in this particular playthrough with the uh, randomizer or is this was this only the second maybe this was only the second um i'm trying to remember now i know it's obviously not the first but um it feels like you're making pretty good progress through it though yeah second but this but yeah but uh third overall uh that's why i was thinking but second with this particular seed cool very cool um yeah you know what i'm gonna leave it on this anim animation that's a good paused animation for the moment but, uh, but I am going to be right back. I'm just going to grab some water uh, and I'll be back in like two seconds. Good, I see Cleo supervised everything. <laughs> I ended up looking around for a quick snack too while I was at it. So, all right. Mercenary Force, you're entering a restricted local government area. Withdraw or you will be fired upon. Yeah, they weren't surprised at all to see us. That sounds like a blown operation to me. Agreed, Commander. Once you've dealt with the response force, you'll find our employer's people here at this facility. Try not to get any of them shot or stepped on. Good luck. All right. So, yeah, we've done two missions so far. The first mission we actually um, had to restart. I kind of save scummed it. Uh, it. It also didn't go well. And I think if I had kept, if I hadn't done that, it would have probably resulted in a game over so um so yeah i i didn't resist the temptation and hit restart mission on that one we still got roughed up a little bit but we basically broke even but got a second centurion out of the deal so that worked out we got to go up here and we're going to have an enemy blocking force probably around here so that's going to be awesome hmm 
Yeah, I think we're gonna come here and and be braced. We're not messing around. Decker, on the other hand, will have a lot of evasion. He tends to have a lot of evasion. Uh, yeah, that's what I, I got a sensor trace. Archer. Oh, that was my water cat. That's my water. Oh, I just brought up water from downstairs and Cleo hops up. She has a glass. I gave her her own glass and she's still drinking out of mine. You're killing me, cat. You're killing me. Really? You're lucky I love you, cat. I know. <laughs> oh, right. I was sure I was thinking I would already do that. DTD, Seraph. I bet you pay attention to what the fuck you're doing. <laughs> Sorry, Cleo causing chaos again. Doing what she does best. Well, that mech just walked through something and possibly damaged itself. Wait, let's reserve and see if any of them come in within range. No, of course not. Ready for orders. Uh, how do I want to do this? Could have to sprint. So if I sprint up here, could have to do that. I'd rather do that and be at least be able to spot multiple things. But that blackjack isn't exactly known. For being durable. Commander. Hmm. All right. Let's do it. Hey, Nikki, how are you? good <laughs> cat is always has been ah oh, so you, you caught cat drinking my water and causing chaos you good girl even when she's being a problem Ugh. Uh, we got a commando and we got a panther let's see that's your configuration and that's your configuration wow that's gonna be pretty terrible either way um, wow, and either way, I'm probably going to miss. So, you know what? Let's shoot at the commando and let's at least whittle it down a little bit. What's up, Bob? Yeah, early starts are never super fun. Now, I know you were able... Copy. We'll shoot the AC2 at that. Yeah, early starts aren't fun, especially if you're not used to them. Firing. Yeah, well, we hit once. That's fine. I'll take it. <laughs> Guess what we'll do here is we'll fire an LRM-10 at the commando. Whittle it down a little bit more. And we'll probably hit with a few of them, but that's not the important part. What I want to do is whittle it down so that when Medusa fires with the archer, we can do some damage to it. Good to go. Now, wow, still only 50? Still only 50%? My God. Can I prove those odds any? Wow, there's really no place to get a good shot at that guy, huh? Well, 
All right, fine. I guess we're going to go over here and we'll go with that. Move order received. What can you do? Fire. Yeah, it looks like only about half of them hit. But all right, we still got an armor blow through. Yeah. And in typical fashion, they usually go first when they want. Commandos are fairly lightly armored, but boy, can they do a lot of damage in a short period of time. Warning. Detecting mech warrior injury. I cannot believe how many head hits they're getting. I really am not a fan of the, uh, the head hit mechanic at all. It's kind of lame. really sucks frankly um wow this is terrible fine just shoot that and hope for the best here it comes wow that was that was garbage i mean granted there were 40 percent hit chance to hit but i mean there's slightly less than half and a lot a lot missed they just ha really come on Oh my god! Internal damage. Well, so this is off to a great start. Receiving you. And Jesus. And for some reason I can't hit for shit. Granted, they've got ridiculous evasion, and I don't have ridiculous evasion for some reason. I wanted to really focus on that commando, but of course it positioned itself there. You know what? Let's Let's try and mess up the uh, panther a little bit. Wow. And even with 85%, only like one out of four things hit. This is, this is not going well. This is, uh, this is not, not going well. Torso with the LRM ammo in it, yikes. So let's aim that torso away from things. Yeah, sure. Let's miss that a whole bunch of times. Why not? You've been missing everything else. I mean, that does make him <laughs> fuck him up. Hey, Warhammer, what's going on? We're uh, I'm having one of those missions, kind of like how Arkham, where you miss a die roll every like two fucking seconds. Um, it feels like that's just happening here. It's uh, it's it's not great. But that's all right. I'm hoping things will turn around in a second. Um, God, I think I'm just going to advance up here and not even shoot the LRMs at that panther. Oh. So they're hitting me. I'm missing them. It's awesome. It's We're just having a great time. Oh, finally. Two things hit. It's amazing. It does help when the weapon systems hit your enemy. Jesus, man. So, yeah, we're going to try and do an escort mission here. And, uh... Yeah, this whole playthrough has been has been just kind of rough in general. Uh, it's like it's been a it's been a perfect storm of worst case scenario shit happening. Um, it'd be nice if if they would stop doing that. <laughs> and of course, they're now picking on the Centurion, which they really should be doing. What's up, Bob? But uh, all right. So if I go up here and I try to shoot you, can you even target? Like, what the fuck? Yeah, that is that is garbage, but um, mm, yeah, like total shit statistic, uh, statistically here. But uh, all right, so let's go up here. Let's try to shoot you at least, and hopefully maybe something else will shoot that. Yeah, don't bother shooting. Ten. No, are in. Yeah, yeah, the the random number generator has been uh, has been really really picking on me lately are you kidding me no stop <laughs> let me go Warning. Armor breached. Internal God damage. damn it man uh jesus christ 
Oh my god, look at this shit. The, the mission hasn't even started. And, uh, and we're already kind of at death's door here with this shit. Yeah, it really has. Um, it's, it's just... This has been my cursed, most cursed playthrough. And of course, it's it's a playthrough that I decided to do on Twitch. I've never had such a miserable time. And of course, it's a um, it's an urban environment. So there's no cover. There's no way to reduce the damage it's doing to you. Um, finally, we're we're getting some payback on this Panther here, finally. But um, but yeah, things are not things are not going well so far with uh with this shit, um, which is unfortunate. Uh, way. yeah, I had to switch out the large lasers for AC2s on this because, uh, the blackjack got wrecked, um, on one before, and, um... Locked on target. What? Come on, man. Thank you. Um, and so I couldn't match the other large lasers, so I had to take the one large laser I had off and kind of restored it to its original configuration. Um... So it kind of just is what it is, man. Wow. Wow. This is... That's garbage, man. Boo. All right. So if I just shoot you from here... That's, that, none of that's great. <laughs> none of that is great. But I could light up the Griffin. Or I could light up the Commando at least. Thinking we'll light up the Commando. Let's just do Copy that. that. And light up this Commando. All right. Toggle this on. Let's hope for something a little better here. Roger. This commando should hate life after this. There we go. All right, that's a little better now. Nice. Got past his armor. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, my God, man. Now they're gonna shoot Renegade again a little more. I'm sure. Yep, of course they are. I mean, it's what the computer should do. The computer should pick on me. Of course, it's gonna crit me. C10. God damn it. Despite the fact that I'm hovering it in the back, hoping that they'll attack something else in the meantime. But yeah, the, the computer's gonna be hyper aggressive and go after that. Of course it is. Yep, there it goes. And of course it's my right arm, not the left arm that has no components in it. Warning. Uh, I mean, this is early. Do I just restart this mission? Shit, man, do I just restart this mission? I almost feel like restarting this mission. And I don't like doing that. I really don't. I think I've gone entire playthroughs without restarting a mission, but this, this sucks, man. And now I don't have an AC-10 to equip the Centurion with. Mm. Ah. <laughs> oh, this sucks so bad. Ah, uh, this sucks so bad. And I waited 19 days to do this mission. Like, I waited 19 days to do this shit? Yeah, nobody liked that. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, the AI, I can't blame the AI for doing that. That's what it should be doing. It should be just picking on the most damaged mech and ignoring all the others. Like, literally, my entire lance is undamaged, except for this one. It's the only one they're shooting at, and I don't see a way to get them to stop shooting at it. So, you know what? Yeah, you know what? We're, we're going to do that. Let's. And my cat drank all my water. So I have to go downstairs and get some more water anyway. Death as a status condition might work. Yeah, right. So bear with me, guys. Let me let me get a new cup of water and maybe I will stop drinking out of my water for a minute. And maybe. Maybe I'll just do stop, stop doing stupid stuff.
occurred to me. We'll go up a different way. Um, let's see. Let's try this again. Maybe we'll go up a different route. Command and maybe we'll have some better luck in a different route. Yeah, no, I won't don't I won't actually attempt that. So yeah, the whole point of doing an escort mission is I was hoping that uh and you know normally this would be like the trap, right? You don't want to go at the route that it looks obvious that it would be prepared for you to do. But uh yeah, it looks like I outsmarted myself on that one. So let's just go up this Got way. It. Try. So that may have been one of the reasons why I was having such a hard time hitting is uh they had high ground and I was uh, below and the game might much like the tabletop. If you have high ground, you will hit easier. Um, it just just kind of is. So maybe what I'll do this time is I'll just sprint instead of kind of holding back. And um, maybe we'll have some better luck this way. But yeah, it sucks that we have to fight a lance before the mission even begins. Um, yeah, you can't just loot without compunction. Wow, they're already shooting at me. I haven't even gone yet. <laughs> Fucking assholes. Um, all right, let's, uh, Jesus, look at this shit. What? Why can't I hit? Why do I have such a horrible, let's just reserve. Now, okay, cool. Yeah, they're just gonna make me go. That's that's awesome. That's that's super awesome. That's that's great. What's up, boss? I love my life. My life is great. Um, yeah, I don't understand why I have such a poor chance to hit. And meanwhile, they're hitting me left and right. Um, good grief, man. This mission is brutal so far. Holy shit! All right, let's shoot you and let's just see what happens here. Maybe we'll have some better luck. Oh, wow. We actually got a, hit, a good hit that time. All right. Thank you. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, good. Good that it include Kevin. Explore. <laughs> oh, my God. That sounds like that sounds hilarious, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, yeah, let's just. Pick on. All right. Now we're starting to get somewhere with this javelin. Oh, my God. All right. Because, yeah, the javelins actually, if the, those two SRM sixes, they could do some damage if they if you let them. Um, see, we're going to go after the javelin and try and take that out. I think let's go up here. And, all right. Is there any difference between there and there? Nope. So let's do that one. Try this and hope for some better success here. All weapons committed. Missed with both of those. All right. Much better start. Enemy <laughs> critical Good to go. That is funny that he would rage quit that. Ooh, okay. Yeah, this this javelin's about to have a bad day now. All right. Jeez, man. See? Was that that hard? Was it? <laughs> Goddamn. Jesus. They always hit me with stray shots, and no matter how many times I hit, try to hit them with a stray shot, it never seems to work. Um... Yeah, exp yeah, exactly, Warhammer. It, it, it doesn't work that way. Wow, that bastard has six evasion pips. Holy fuck. Yeah, these guys are just going to be super annoying. And of course, it's a four on four lance. But yeah, the idea of me taking the... Um, the escort mission, the concept behind it, which is actually really funny. Yeah, LRM's reach out to someone. Um, the, the biggest point of this whole Standing thing by. was, um, at least what I was hoping for, um, was that, um, wow, that is garbage. All right, fine. Fine. Ready for order. You guys are going to do this shit? 
We'll just go up and Copy we'll just that. melee attack you. That should hit. Uh, of course you miss with that. God damn it, I have an 85% chance to hit. It still misses. That didn't hit. You suck, Order. Decker. How about you? Maybe you try? No, you have a 90% chance to ch chance to hit with this. One of you hit with this, please. <laughs> Come on. Work with me here. For physical there we go. That's what I'm freaking talking about. <laughs> that hit something good. Yeah, it did. That's what I that's what I was hoping for. Um, all right, let's do same thing. Since our chance to hit is so abysmal. There we are. Better. Okay. I'm still salty about that. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't blame you. I'm sorry. I, I should have stopped that. I didn't, I didn't know what it was. Um, wow. Wow, these are all really, really awful. Uh, all right, fine. Yeah, let's just melee attack you too. I guess we're just gonna melee attack since we can't hit them. Perfect. All right. I mean, hell, if that's what's what it's gonna take, I guess that's what it's gonna take. I don't know why my pilots. I mean, granted, I know my pilots are not all that experienced, but this does seem particularly brutal. Damage. I don't feel like my pilots should be at such an egregious disadvantage to, um... I mean, they can still hit pretty bad, especially when they target you in these locations. But it didn't look like this one moved all that much this time. So maybe we'll have better luck now. Waiting for orders. So if I go here... Wow, I still have a terrible chance to hit. That's amazing. Um... That really, that really is amazing. All right, fine. Turn around, smash it. Try and hit it. At least with melee, we have a decent chance to hit. All right. Well, that should do. Take that. Oh, then. What's up, boss? Right. Let's try this. Okay. Now at least we've got decent chances to hit. I will take that. Roger. I would much rather shoot at you than have to do melee. So let's try, let's try this. All right, well, 50% hit, that's fine. Do, 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 let's try you. All right, now we're talking. Yeah, I still can't really hit with much there, but that's pretty decent, so we'll go with that. Go with that. No other M's, but we'll shoot you. There we go. That's enough out of you. Okay. Good grief. Enemy mech destroyed. No arms. <laughs> yeah, seriously. All right. So even, even though this has been hitting the left arm the whole time, it still has been only doing moderate damage. Wow, this is brutal. I can't believe how, how poor of a chance to hit I'm having. That is insane. Um, all right, but it's overheating, so let's move you over there. Try to stay away from it so it can't melee me. At this point, it's running out of, running out of heat capacity. It's going to have to come up and melee somebody. Well, I'm trying to also move over to where the uh, convoy is going to start. Because the actual objective is a... You still fired the fucking PPC, you little bastard. <laughs> little bastard. Orders? <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Wow, that is, that is truly terrible. All right, fine. We'll just go over here. Position we'll shoot confirmed. you at the AC too. Narrow away some of that evasion. Oh, inverted. Let's go with this. Fire. I copy. Missed. That's all right. You, you whittled down its evasion. That's really yes, what I was commander. looking for there. Um. Yeah. All right. Now we aye, will aye. start just shooting up this panther. Toggle off the other M10. Fire. There we go. Now we can hit the bastard. I actually could. Could precision shot it now that I have enough uh, resolve. 
Let's do that. Let's do that just to make sure th some joy here. That works. We'll take that. Did that make yeah, right? It looked like it moonwalked. All right. Well, this time we took some moderate damage to the archer. Yeah, this time they only chose to target the archer. But this time they didn't do nearly as much damage. Affirmative. Heading out. Unlike Head before, down. where they practically uh, killed the mech before I even got started. Kind of hard to survive a mission bef but before the damn thing even begins and you get knocked down and losing entire locations. Uh, all right, so shit, we're glad to see you folks. I was worried we'd have to walk home. Now, part of this is um, one of the pirates, uh, one of them got arrested and is being transferred. Uh, or uh, one of, I think that's... I, my take is that this is a prison break uh, and we're escorting them out <laughs> of a local government facility. We have an LZ mark for you. Is your team ready to move? Everyone who's left, we're mounting up now. <laughs> Let's move, people! <laughs> Darius, Commander, I'm seeing a lot of new mech signatures out there. It looks like someone kicked a beehive, because of course. But at least this time, they'll be shooting at other things besides us. So this should help. Um, and as long as one of the enemy, as long as one of the ally convoy makes it to the LZ, we will succeed the mission, but we do get a bonus if they all make it. So that should be nice. Hopefully these convoy can, uh, convoy units will have weapons and they can actually attack. That would be nice. Now notice, because they exited and re-entered combat, they all get to go. They're all going to get to go again, most likely, before I get to go. It's one of the problems I do have with the design, is the enter-exit combat mechanic frequently results in the enemy uh, AI getting a free turn. Drives me crazy. And they get to vent during that. They get to vent heat during that free turn. I'm not better. I'm not better. <laughs> Let's sprint. So at least we'll have evasion while we go about this. Yep. Armored personnel carrier. It's going to have like minimum weapons. And of course, it's going way ahead of my protective envelope because of course they do. They're kind of dumb. You. And by kind of dumb, I mean they're really dumb. No, no, you can't pick up the vehicles and move them faster. <laughs> Actually, I don't want the vehicles moving faster. <laughs> Truth be told. Uh, yeah, these things are going to be completely weak and pathetic. Oh, God. So, yeah, I'm going to have to try to draw these things fire so they're not even shooting at my escorts realistically. Commander. Um, you know what? I might actually want to do that. I might want to shoot LRMs at them, even though... I'm going to do negligible damage, but at least if I shoot the LRM, Moving to position. it will, um, they will not, they'll, they'll try to avoid shooting at the transports. So we'll go with this just to try to draw its fire. That's more of a strategic attack. Yeah, it was about right. About one out of every three hit there. Ugh. All right. Doing a little better here. I feel dirty having to restart the mission, though. I thought they were venting their anger. <laughs> no, no, that that's Come probably back. me. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, wow. Well, actually, oh, no, that was a building. Damn. Uh, all right. Well, maybe I should just shoot at the javelin. Shit, man. Maybe I should shoot at the javelin. All right. You know what? We're going to shoot at the javelin. I'll Roger. do precise shots, so hopefully something a little extra can hit. Right, yeah, let's do it. Precision strike. Precision strike the dragon. So this is really the only advantage you have is the fact that you have these precision things. Um, so that kind of helps the fact that the AI almost always outnumbers you. We'll take that. 
scored a critical hit. All right, not too bad. Oof. The vehicle driver, I can't, I can drive straight into the enemy line of fire. I know it'll work because they don't expect me to. <laughs> I swear, I think that's how this AI was. All right, well, at least, you know what? I appreciate when they at least open fire. Because at least they'll try to help. I don't think they're going to hit very well because I think their pilots are really terrible. But hey, you know, you can hope. That's the problem. That, that my friends is the problem. This convoy is going to be very weak and I didn't know which direction they were going in either. So I couldn't like position my mechs ahead of it first uh, and then go into the capture zone. Otherwise I would have done that. Sometimes I could, I can kind of figure out what's going to happen, but in an urban map like this, I'm like, who, knows, who the hell knows? Jesus, they have already destroyed half my escorts. Come on, man. This is super lame. Who's uh, who's up in front here? All right. I, it looks like I'm in front. Uh, all right. So let's see what's going to happen here. Jeez. Ugh. All right. Well, this... Where's the damaged one? All right. Well, you're the damaged one. So fine. We'll... Uh, I think I'll shoot at you. And then I'll shoot at the other ones. Actually, this is where Glitch would be in handy because Glitch has um, multi-shot, so she could theoretically shoot at the whole enemy lance and kind of draw their fire. Granted, uh, mileage can kind of vary with that, but the argument's safe. I'd rather just attack that one. Let's try to take this one out. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, that was the right decision. That was absolutely the right decision. Good to go. Let's, uh... Yeah. All right. Let's shoot at the commando. On my way. I mean, the only good news is they've all gone. No, I'm not wasting a precise shot on that. Right. At least I hit it. Receiving you. I'm so far behind. Yeah, we'll shoot at that javelin. Just to try to draw its fire away from the escorts. Let's see. Choose you. <laughs> uh, glitch, not glitch. I, I think that's a typo. You knew what I meant. <laughs> yeah, glitch is my favorite pilot, but she's still in the, uh, she's still in the uh, hospital. <laughs> Her mech got really roughed up in the last mission. Wow, that one actually hit something. Cool. All right, nice. Orders. Let's, yeah, we're gonna advance. Moving out. Let's see what we can do with you. Yeah, it's unfortunate they moved up so much. I mean, essentially the two of them just died outright. Let's see, the commando at 45 or the javelin. Hmm. Commando. Let's see what we could do to this commando. I copy. Plus, by precise shot hitting it, it'll go down in initiative. All right. I don't think we damaged anything particularly valuable hit. on it. They have pizza in the future. Yes, they do. <laughs> All right. Well, you guys do some damage to it. Yeah, shoot that. All right. Hey, damage is damage. I appreciate it. Good job, Alisvin and APC. Come on, shoot me, not the... Not the convoy. Shoot me, not the convoy. Yes. Good, good, good. Thank you. That shouldn't be... Oh, good. Perfect. That works. Yep. I mean, granted, I don't like that they're all shooting me specifically, but at the moment, me, better me than the convoy. All right. Well, that being the case, let's... Uh... Hmm. Yes. <laughs> At this point, now we've got a good fight on our hands. So let's skirmish with these guys over here. And if I miss, hopefully I'll hit the locust. Yeah, good. I did hit that. Perfect. 
But once I actually hit that with a straight shot. Man, that commando is really messed up. Oh, bastard. What what part of me did you... Oh, of course, I just went. So hopefully, it's not too bad. Oh, Jesus. Really? You kidding me? All right. Well, that's all right. I'll torso twist and hopefully uh, stop that from being a problem. Uh, let's see. I think I should probably go after the commando. Although, the commando did just go. So, maybe not. Hmm. I think the javelin still has to go. So let's... I've got more than enough ammo of the AC2. Fuck it. Yeah, I had a feeling I'd miss with those. Standing by. Just to make sure the javelin does, in fact, shoot at me. All right. Yep. Locust it is. Position confirmed. <laughs> Miss my things. <laughs> now that brings back memories, Nade. Holy shit. Oh, man. Yes. That was awesome. Yeah, let's. Confirmed. Let's hate on this locust a little bit. There we go. I think I hit something good. Now these guys get to go, but they're outpacing my ability to protect them. Right. Hey, we'll take it. Yeah, fuck up that commando. Nice. Oh, and tag works for me too. I'll do more damage to it now. Standing Sweet. By. All right. Oh, hell yeah. Kill that fucking commando. <laughs> Kill that motherfucker! Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, it's like a pool or something. I'm still doing damage to it. <laughs> All right. That was not the right way to drive there, buddy. But I do appreciate it trying to do trying to help me out here. Good. Target acquisition gear. We like that. Oh, target acquisition gear makes it easier for me to hit. That was actually really stupid of it to go there. Because now it's shooting at me at the side uh, instead of head on. It had a much better chance of coring me head on. Now it... And that just went. So I think I'm just going to try to kill... Yeah, all right. Maybe I'll go back one. Really? There we go. Yeah, I'm just going to try to kill the locust here and then let everybody else go because that locust I don't think is gone yet. So let's just go. Play action economy here. Yeah, murder the locust if you can. Thank you. Okay. Now things are starting to go a little away. Our way. Apply head on. Apply directly to forehead. Let me back up here. <laughs> Yes, All right, now I'm thinking, yeah, let's just have Decker. Let's just have Decker melee this bastard. Targeting for physical attack. There we go. That will help. Ready for orders. Right. Have you? Ooh, we've got some cover. Well, but I can't target you better. Barely. Out. Yeah, we'll just go On here. We'll way. shoot at you. Because then Medusa will have an easier shot next time. I'm just not going to fire missiles. That's a waste. Yeah, fuck Roger it. That. Let's see that. Well, you hit with one. That's not too bad. Are you going to shoot? Yeah, you are going to shoot. Cool. I'll take it. It didn't hit, but... What really helps? Receiving you. <laughs> it made life. Oh, damn it. All right, fine. Hmm. Well. Wow. 
Wow, yeah, that's pretty terrible. Uh, I can't really hit you with my LRMs. So, fine. We'll just go here and I'll shoot you with two medium lasers. That mech is hot. It's going to do a melee attack next turn. For sure, no doubt. But yeah, I'm too close with my long-range missiles. That's all right. We'll shoot it with two medium lasers. We'll do a little bit more damage to the javelin. But yeah, no doubt. It's it's going to try to melee something. Um, hopefully, it tries to melee Decker. Since Decker's right up in its grill. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. Rather than trying to shoot Renegade. But it's going to shoot Renegade again. Fine. Return fire. No. Uh, maybe not. How about there? No. Here? Wow. Yeah. Nothing but shite. Standing by. Fine. Let's have you do that again. <laughs> Let's have you do that again first. There we go. Do some stability damage. Good to go. Do this. We'll go here, Got it. fire some SRMs into it. SRM 2. Target confirmed. All right. Now that you don't have any evasion, now what's the story? That's better. Feel better? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, right. I forgot to torso twist. Shit. Hopefully that decision doesn't come back to haunt me. Now we're talking. Bastard, you shall be punished. <laughs> God damn, man. Whew. The AI definitely came to play this playthrough. Fucked me up last sis last stream. It's definitely trying. Oh, ho, ho. nice shot, vehicle. There we go. We killed the pilot, which means we should get some really good salvage off that mech. Uh, all right, so let's go over here. We're going to go over here. Acknowledged. Let's go over here. On my way. Hopefully, we don't have to fight anything else. But very frequently, once they actually get onto the loading zone, there's going to be yet another lance of bullshit that we have to go kill and destroy. So I'm kind of fully prepared for that. Yep, there it is. I'm seeing more contacts. Of course we are. You're in position, Commander. Hold your ground until the package is on its way. Yep. <laughs> Enemy power up detected. Times four. Because of course. But that's alright. I'll keep my damaged mech kind of back a little bit. And uh the LRM should be in a much higher arcing fire. I don't I don't know what that actually I don't know what you mean by that uh by that warhammer. Um I mean height really shouldn't matter for LRMs because they shoot up uh, at least when you're doing it indirect, they shoot up and then they come back down. Hey Phoenix, what's going on, buddy? <laughs> We're having a shit show. No! Oh my god, that would be terrible if I don't even get to go and they die. Oh my god, can you imagine? That would be so lame. <laughs> that would be the biggest amount of bullshit ever. Uh, Alright, so let's go here and I think that went already. So I don't have a mech that can jump. So wow, that's really the only thing I can do. Well, alright. I could at least get in front of them and try to draw their fire. Um, jeez, man. That's bullshit. But yeah, let's... You're going to be the only thing that's even within range here, so let's just try. Here it comes. <laughs> All right, we'll take it. Nice shot. Nice shot, Behemoth. <laughs> when is it not a shit show? Right? No, you don't understand. You don't understand. There's usually, like, I... There's always, like... A curveball or a kink, but it's normally not a total shit show all the time. It's really not. Yes, sir. 
Yes, Commander. <laughs> it's really not. Oh my god, it's normally not a complete fucking fiasco, but it certainly has to the uh, or a kinky curveball. I think um so Phoenix, I, I think that's something different. <laughs> uh all right, so you know what? We're going to advance. You know what? I should have done that first. Um that was my fault. That's my fault. I should have done that first. Granted, I don't think Decker has any long-range weapons anyway, but we're going to sensor lock uh, you. Let's sensor lock you. Fucking javelin. Oh my god. Ready for orders. Yeah, let's just let's just shoot that. Ja uh, oh my god. Yeah, no, we're not. Gonna. Let's sprint up here, and maybe we could do some damage later. Copy that. Although the archer's taking some damage, I probably shouldn't be racing that forward, but whatever. Bloody. Stay there. Perfect. All right, they're extracted. So we could just run. And I'm actually kind of thinking, yeah, we're just going to run. <laughs> the good thing about bad luck is it better luck than none, none at all. Uh, yeah, it does depend on how dexterous these mechs are. And I'm thinking these are, these are going to be light. So now all of these enemy mechs get a free turn because they exited combat and now they were going to re-enter combat and all of them get to go again isn't that awesome so i'm actually glad i at least got to kill one uh so yeah now we enter combat and they go again i this drives me crazy it drives me crazy that they get to go for free again like they shouldn't even be there <laughs> and they're and yet they're shooting at me it's so and now they're gonna get and now they get to shoot at me like that's it's such bullshit i hate that so much i hate this free turn um i don't know if there's a mod to fix it or what um i don't think there is i think i'm just shit out of luck but uh yeah the whole enemy team got to go for free i think we're just gonna run for the evac zone because uh i'm let's see yeah i'm 14 my mech is barely damaged except my center torso, which is 14 points away from being cored. So yeah, I think I think we're just gonna haul ass and get the hell out of here. But I may shoot back um, with my less damaged mechs and we'll see what happens here. Uh, Cause yeah, I'm barely damaged. So maybe I'll go here and just shoot at this just to see what happens. Um, I can still... Mm, yeah, you know what? Let's do that and we'll we'll return fire a little bit. But yeah, the javelin, yeah, they these these guys all got to go. It's super awesome. It's it's just great. It's great fun. Let's go here. I'm totally not better. <laughs> uh yeah, okay. Yeah, let's you know what? We're gonna even gonna precision strike this fucker because fuck him in particular. Acknowledged. go yeah we'll fuck up the javelin at least good to go why not let's uh let's go here and yeah let's do that okay um uh, the blackjack i took the jump jets off to give it a little more armor for survivability because in this game you're always outnumbered affirmative um so armor to me is better than jump jets most of the time. Uh, so that's why the blackjack yep. can't uh, can't uh, can't mount some uh, nice jump jets. I just I decided not to do that. Got it. And actually, I think that was the right decision. Yeah, let's really fuck up this javelin. There we go. Just to be a little vindictive on some of the bullshit double turn, free turn bullshit. <laughs> Fuck that guy. <laughs> That's fine. I've got armor there. <laughs> Where's the kaboom? There's supposed to be an earth shattering kaboom. Yeah, they're, they're still just shooting at this centurion. They're such dicks. Um, so now the question is, do I just, oh, I can't sprint because I'm, uh, well, I could do vigilance and sprint. I could do vigilance and sprint. Yeah, let's do that. Vigilance, sprint. Get the fuck out of there. Uh, 
that, I guess. Yeah, we'll do that, I guess. Get the hell out of there. You're damaged, and I want you out of there. Get the hell out of the a the uh, get the hell out of this area. So now the question is, do I have the rest of my lance run, or it's three on two? It's gonna be three on two, even without me. I actually kind of like those odds, but let's just get the hell out of here. I think we've we've done enough. Let's just go. Roger. Let's get the hell out of here. We killed one javelin just to spite them, but now we can get to the AO, uh, LZ. Let's just let's just get the hell out. <laughs> yeah, right. Choose murder. Well, I would also like to get paid, so uh, so that's part of my calculus. Going and the sooner I get to that evac zone, the sooner we get paid. More damage if you fight and lose sea bills. So in Mech Warrior Five, there's uh, there are war zone missions where if you stick around and just kill things, you will get more money. Um, I could do this, but yeah, why why bother? Uh, well, although yeah, no, let's just get the hell. Let's go. On my way. We're Come leaving. Time. If you guys, I'm going home. And hopefully the next mission is not a shit show. <laughs> not at that rate. Not at that rate. It was like all of like 30% chance of making it. Uh, I, I didn't I didn't like those odds. I did not like those odds at all. Uh, let's just turn that way and we'll brace. We took some damage, but that mech didn't get all that fucked up. So that was good. We we kind of prevented our, ourselves from getting majorly uh, wrecked this time. Granted, we did have to restart the mission to do it, but uh, at this point, yeah, the sooner we What's sooner we get on? out of here, uh, the happier I'll be. Uh, yeah, we'll just we'll just get the hell out. And I think there was another escort mission, and I maybe we'll do that depending on things. Commander. Uh, although, you know, obviously my, obviously the the primary mech warrior is injured, so we'll have to wait another couple of days. We'll probably have glitch come in as the, uh, as our makeup yes, commander. commander. Come on, can we get to that? Yes, we can. Good. Let's get the hell out of here. Understood. Moving come on, Sumeri, get get us out. So I think I took a head hit or some other lame bullshit. Perfect. Covert team and the research materials are safe. Well done, Commander. Mission successful. Uh, I didn't have a choice of uh, the name. Um, so uh, the only choice I have for the names um, is Marcus. Um, Marcus, whatever. I uh, forgot the uh, Devro, maybe. Um, and his call sign, Renegade. Uh, all of the other things, like the pilots and the NPCs, they all they they're all named by Hairbrain Schemes. Uh, they should make a movie based on this. It'd be it'd be fun. Uh, hiding inside of this building, when I was studying. <laughs> yeah, right. Just a happy coincidence. Um, so yeah, we we killed nine fucking mechs, and there were more of them, and there's only four of us the whole fucking time. Uh, so yeah, we were, you're just always outnumbered. And yeah, I mean, we really didn't take all that much damage either. We did, we did pretty good. The problem is I took damage to one fucking location. So that was just really scary. Um, but we ended up doing okay. So let's see. All right, we're going to complete a mech. And we might actually complete two mechs here. Um, thinking that's what we should do. We should just complete two mechs. We're going to complete two mechs and yes, and then we'll sell them and we'll make some money. Um, yep, that works. Okay. So we'll look our wounds and we'll, we'll get somewhere with this. Um, and we could sell those and we could buy a piece of Victor salvage. Uh, we could start putting a Victor together because once we get that Victor together, we're going to be in much better shape to handle the bullshit the game throws at us. <laughs> and as you guys have seen, the game can throw a real the game can throw a decent amount of bullshit at you. But in a weird sort of way, this is actually kind of the hardest part of the game, at least in my opinion. I think the game gets easier 
as you uh as you go along uh in many many ways um so yeah we're gonna send to storage now you can scrap a mech and get money for it but you're always better off selling mechs uh so there's no max drop size for the most part so you're always better bringing heavier mechs um and it's not just throwing it it's hucking it rookie of the year style right right <laughs> um so let's take a look uh oh i am not i'm not injured perfect all right so it's just my it's just the mech is damaged so let's see let's repair it all right oh it's only gonna take four days that is not too bad so let's send that down and we're gonna go to the store let's sell some of this we're gonna sell all right let's sell this we'll make yep uh we'll sell that cool uh let's actually see what else we could sell um I like having a supply of that. We do have a... Okay, we don't need that many jump jets. So let's sell some of these. We can get 40,000 sea bills for that. Um, oh, no, no. We're still like in the early... We're still in the early, par early part of the game. I actually think this is one of the harder parts. Because number one, your pilots are still really inexpen inexperienced. So they miss a lot. Um... Oh yeah, your pilots could absolutely get, get injured. Glitch is still in the med bay. Um, but you also don't have particularly good mechs. You don't have particularly good components. So you're doing less damage. You're easier to hit. You don't hit as well. Uh, yeah, my ass is in their pocket. Exactly. Exactly. Um, so yeah. Um, but yeah, I do. I actually do think the the game gets a little easier as we as we get along uh, with things. Um, but yeah, I mean, obviously the the scenarios get harder, but but you're much more survivable um, and whatnot. So I mean, you you'll you guys will see. Um, all right, so yes, we are going to buy this Victor Salvage because that is critical to us being available. good at the game. Um, so now we're back down to a million C bills but it works. Let's go here and let's spend some experience points. Like Glitch, she's Commander? still injured. She's going to be injured for another couple of days. She's actually my favorite mech warrior uh, in this whole thing. Uh, I can't raise Red you, cold. but good. We can raise you. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Warrior training complete. We'll do that. Uh, what else can we raise? Yeah, let's make it so you can hopefully land shots a little better. Waiting for orders. You definitely need a minimum range Training bonus. And yeah, we're going to go with the called shot bonus for Mech fucking sure. Complete. Um, so glitch. I hope that gets better soon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, seems it, I, you know, that's actually really not that many weapon stocks. Um, but yeah, I would say anything over 20. Once we start getting collecting things more than 20, then I start selling them and reducing them to 20. Um, because yeah, if you end up with a bad mission and you have to replace a bunch of components, you're gonna be glad you have them. Um, so that's that's kind of how that goes. All right, so going back to the mech bay here, I think I am inclined to wait the four days for this Centurion to, oh, uh, let's manage tasks. And let's have that Centurion go first. <laughs> Yeah, I'm thinking we'll wait the four days, we'll get the Centurion back, and we can do one of these other missions. Um, either another escort mission, and hope this one isn't as bad. Um, I mean, we could do the defend base, too. We could do the, you know, we could do the, the defend base. Um... Because at least with defend base, they shoot at the base instead of you a lot. And they're, they're going to send some serious shit after us. But, um, and it's usually two lances. Uh, all right, Nade, have a good one, dude. Thank you for dropping by. I appreciate it. Um, but yeah, usually if they're willing to pay you a million sea bills, um, yeah, less damage, more sea bills. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's that's kind of the the question. Or do we, you know, let them try take us here, and uh, and try and do this? Because there's a take the bait where uh, there's a heavy mech, so we'll probably fight a heavy mech of some sort, and there's going to be a lance. But that's only going to be five against four, 
It's not going to be like eight against four, usually. Um, you know, so I don't know. Uh, that's a good question. Do we let them take us there? Because we got four days we have to wait anyway. We could go to a completely new place, hope for better contracts, because I'm really not thrilled with uh, doing a... Um, doing a battle in the desert, especially with this. I think that might be, that might be a little dicey. Um, I actually kind of like the idea of this take the bait here. Um, we've got, we've got enough rep built up with the Magistry of Cannabis that I think we could afford to do this. So we're going to do that. Let's take the 15 days and yeah, we're going to do that. Plus, that gives Glitch a little more time to heal up. Maybe we'll have Glitch with us. And who knows, maybe Wyatt's Glory will have, um... Ooh, good, we could just wait one day and we'll have Glitch back. That's great. Excellent! Most excellent. And hopefully we'll, we'll start performing a little better in some of these missions. But as you guys could see... It's a real difference between your pilot when your pilots are all ranked like three and four and when your pilots are like ranked six and five. This is the main game. This is absolutely the main game. This is the campaign. Um, so there are three DLCs that came with this game. I actually do have all three DLCs. There are flashpoints, which are custom missions, which are actually really, really good. Um, but they don't start kicking until after you finish the main campaign. Um, there's heavy metal, which introduces new mechs into the game. But even when they introduced the Heavy Metal DLC, they still added the Marauder and I think the Warhammer to the main game. Um, uh, no, the Warhammer and the Marauder were already in the base game, but they had modifications that came with Heavy Metal. And so even if you didn't have the Heavy Metal DLC, you still got the benefits to the Marauder and the, and the Warhammer. So that was nice. Um, and then the other one was the Urban Combat one. So... Uh, a lot of times when we're farting, uh, farting, <laughs> when we're fighting in urban environments, that's that DLC. So, uh, as you pass Medbay, you hear Glitch and Slam shouting, followed by a loud metallic crash. Oh God, what's Glitch doing? Commander, Glitch calls as you enter, and nice of you to join us. She rises halfway out of bed, uh, trailing a tangled rope of tubes and wires. The senior doctor, doctor turns on you, flushed and angry. Commander, your mech warriors refuse to follow their recovery regimen. Slam looks up from a nearby chair. Come on, you old quack. Can't you see Glitch is ready to get back out there? Um, and so because we added the Argo training module, we have this option. Um, we're going to do this. Order Glitch to practice while she recovers. So cool. Ah, cool. And they both gained 50 experience. So uh, yeah, <laughs> turning to the doctor, I respect the challenges you face here, but clearly Glitch is going a little stir crazy. Perhaps she could spend some time each day in the training module. Doctor's tightened lips communicate displeasure, but she keeps those words to herself. Very well, Commander. We'll need her on her feet soon enough. Walking to the training room back won't be any different than doing laps in the hallway. So, cool. They gained some experience. Now, granted, I think I still need like 3,000 experience for them to actually go another level. What's the hell? We, we, we like XP. We like XP. So, let's continue to advance. Now, we're at Wyeth's Glory. Who knows? Maybe I can... Maybe they'll have... Uh, the last piece of the Victor salvage to buy, and uh, we can complete that here. That would be nice. Granted, the Victor is really not that great of a mech, but at this stage of the of the game, when you're still like having light mechs and everything else, like the next campaign mission to go to um, Hanzer, uh, the first time I did the game and beat it, uh, I, I did that mission with the original spider you get. So already we're we're in better shape than that. Uh, so yeah, let's let's proceed. Oh right. Um, do I wait for glitch? Um, nah, you know what? Let's let's just do it. Let's do it and hope for the best. We got a battle in the snow. It's the that's the AC five one. Yep, perfect. Let's do this. All right. <laughs> You can edit the confines of the game to add flashpoints during the DLC. It uses the same milestone system that the Max. Uh, uh, oh, is that a uh, is that part of the um, like when you do a custom when you're doing the customized settings, or is that a mod you're talking about? I actually don't don't mess around much in the uh, custom settings because you can also do an Iron Man campaign. You can set um, you know like eight 
uh, pieces of salvage uh, instead of three. Um, that is pretty interesting. I think adding flashpoints during the main campaign would be... That would, man, that would be chaos incarnate. But some of those early flashpoints would help make the campaign a lot easier, especially since a lot of those early flashpoints, they have weight, they have ton limits anyway. So you're already under them with the lance you start off with. Um, so yeah, that would that would work out really well. I should check that out next time I, I do a playthrough of this. Uh, we're in the area where the hostile mech was sighted. So we're going to go try and bait whatever the heavy mech this is. And we're, it's obviously a trap. <laughs> it is clearly a trap. But at least we know it's a trap. Uh, and I think we'll just advance because I don't think there's anything. Yeah, I think I'd rather just travel on the road and have the evasion rather than play games like try to scale this mountain and be up here and try and hide out in these woods and just like play uh, defend the mountain. Um, now we could do that. We could go up to this mountain and play defend the mountain. But let's go spring the trap. Let's go spring the trap and see what happens. My guess is that once we spring this trap, Move order received. reinforcements will come from not over on the right or east side of this map. They're probably going to show up from over here and come in this way. Or they'll show up around here with a bunch of LRMs and just shoot at me all fucking day. More of a mod. You need to open up config file with notepad and add a new condition to the milestone system. Oh, that's not too bad. I mean, that's not that's not really a mod. I mean, obviously that involves some custom. That's really badass, actually. Huh. Add a new condition to the milestone system. That is sweet. I never knew you could do that. As Medusa would say, <laughs> badass. <laughs> Enemy detected. Well, here's our. Oh, it's a it's a vehicle. Oh, God, please don't be a devastator. Motherfucker. If it's a devastator, that would suck a lot. Although I still would take a devastator to like a truly heavy mech. Um, don't think it's going to be that heavy, but we're going to we're going to find out what it is. I do like when the heavy thing we have to bring the trap for is a vehicle. That is pretty nice. So hopefully the vehicle advances enough, misses us. And we could just go up and stomp on it. That would be really, really thick and nice. Oh, come on. Reserve. Let it go. Standing by. That's actually not good. Is it going to go now? Yep. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> it might be a devastator. Well, shit. It's going to advance that far. All right, fine. Um, let's see. Who else Orders. You have that, but I don't think I want to use you with that. Um, all right. So if I go here, I could just shoot it. All right, fine. Let's just advance and shoot it. Let's see what happens. What are we dealing with? Oh, a PPC carrier. That's not too bad. Yeah, that's not too bad. Open fire on the PPC carrier. <laughs> Commander. I'm not going to shoot it at all with that. Good to go. Okay, then. Fine. Yeah, Location. fine. Shoot it with LRMs. Locking We're all going to shoot at it from the same side, so there's that. Perfect. Well, that was easy. That's why I like it when it's a tank. So now we've got reinforcements. And they're getting their turn. Which, as long as they don't detect us, they don't get the free turn. I'm picking up a new Damn it. Trace. And now Looks they get like their free turn. Motherfucker. So they just got to go and now they get to go again. That drives me crazy. <laughs> and that will be something the game will get to take advantage of through the entire playthrough. Some missions, it's more... You know, that would actually be a nice mod to turn off the exiting combat and entering combat. That would be worth it just to end the... Um, the free turn bullshit. Receiving you. Yeah, all right. Let's go here and shoot this. Acknowledged. See what happens. 
because I can't imagine I'm the only person to have uh, been a little frustrated with the free turns. And I know I'm not the first person to notice it. <laughs> well, there's that. <laughs> well, maybe they needed the free turn. Considering that, Jesus. That was, uh... All right, fine. Let's just go here and shoot them. All right, so there are going to be four of them. So there are two of them. But I don't think I want to go that fast. Let's sprint. Yeah, I think we'll sprint over here so that we can get over there. So what I don't want to do is kill that one. I don't think I can. I don't think I can do it that quick. What I definitely don't want to do is do that and then exit and re-enter combat again. So there's definitely a disincentive to kill this one. Yes, Commander. That's the part that kind of does suck. There's like literally a disincentive All in to uh to doing well. Oh. Let's just see. I Nobody copy. else going? Hmm. Hmm. Well, that would be different. Why not? It's well armored. It's the only heavy mech I have so far. What are you doing, buddy? Another locust. That's about right. Something that's jump capable. Probably a javelin. Yeah, that's a javelin. Light damage. Holding firm. Huh. Damage minimal. Another javelin, maybe? Receiving you. Let's just have you come up this way. On my way. Double time. Deal with these enemy reinforcements. There's our last one. But good luck hitting Decker from there. <laughs> Waiting for orders. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure, just fire at it. Firing all this way. may yeah, I didn't I didn't think I needed a precise shot on that. Completely wasted the locust. Yeah, let's just sprint. Let's get over on this. Uh, let's get over on this side. Full throttle. Ready for orders. Do this and uh, we'll just brace. Got it. Or shoes and hand grenades. <laughs> There we are. Always nice to be inspired. What do we got? What are we doing? Well, could just sensor lock it and open fire from over here. Good to go. But uh, we'll just do this. Roger that. So unfortunately, we don't really have much in the way of missiles and really long-ranged weapons. The Lance just isn't outfitted for that yet. Let's see. Yeah, let's go with this one. And since you're closer to it, let's hit you with all that shit. Firing. Even though we're only doing half damage. We're still going to mess you up. Yes, Commander. Copy that. Lob an LRM-10 over its way. Oh God! Only a thirty-five man. Yeah, whatever. Engaging with target. You'll do some damage. <laughs> Negligible. More like no. <laughs> Jeez, that was sad. That's just sad. Uh, yeah, we'll do this. Ugh. Uh, 
Let's see, do I take better? Yeah, let's just pick on this thing. take it enemy mech critical damage detected oh, yeah i forgot that's the problem there yeah coordinates received fire on you with a shit ton of that it's only gonna be half damage but I thought that would be overkill for this one. Actually, I actually thought it would do more damage than that. I probably should have just shot at that one, but whatever. Minimal damage on that hit. What's up, boss? Return fire. Fine. Yeah, where'd all that evasion go, buddy? Heavy damage. This this one's pretty much over. It's four on two. It it's it's over. Now it's just kind of mopping up, making sure they don't get any lucky shots in and hurt me in some other kind of lucky weirdness. Wow, how did they miss all of that? That's kind of amazing, actually. Uh, Heading out. Sure. That's true. Yeah, all right, fine. Confirm. Just try to take it out with an LRM-10. That'd be nice. Cool. Perfect. Target eliminated. Easy. Easy money. I think this is going to be the optimum range. This will be the optimum range. Is this the optimal range? Wow, okay, never mind. Yeah, okay, fine. What are we doing? It's all the left torso. Yeah, sure, let's do it. Let's just shoot the left. Tunnel our way through this thing. It's fine. Well, it would have been nice if that had hit. No surprise that it blew off the torso. Yes, Commander. And now, more DACA. <laughs> Copy that. Good luck surviving that. Did you check for owls in the eliminated. tree first? <laughs> yeah, no, I, no, I didn't. <laughs> mission successful. All right. Wow, finally an easy mission. One that actually went according to plan. It's freaking amazing. <laughs> Oh, good grief. We actually, yeah, we didn't make a whole, we didn't really make all that much, but it's fine. We, we kind of needed a nice milk run mission where we just got some money and, uh, oh, actually we can, we're going to take that and we're going to sell that. And we just made a lot more money on that, on that mission. So instead of just, um, two or 300,000, we're going to get an extra, like almost 170. Not bad. Not bad. And then we'll see what other missions are here. See, so yeah, this was going to be just kind of like a nice farming recover. Because uh, we were on the verge of bankruptcy when we started this stream. Um, like to the point where we had to restart the mission that, that we started off with. Like that literal, that really would have been probably been a game over. Um, it would have been really hard to come back from that. Because the amount of, just the sheer amount of, uh, the sheer repair bill from that. Would have been really, really hard to overcome. Uh, wow. Okay. So there's nothing here. That's fine. We'll see. Yeah. Oh, 174,000. Cool. Works. Um, so that armod. Now, melee stability damage. Hmm. Yeah, neither of them worth doing. That being the case, there might not be. Oh, wow. We actually do have uh, some pretty good stuff here. So we got ambush convoy. Yeah, let's not do ambush convoy. Convoy ambushes are bad because not only do you have the vehicles that could shoot back at you, but you also have the escorts. So that's terrible. Uh, all right. This might not be so bad, actually. And they do pay a lot. 
So, all right, we're not going to do that. Going against. Okay, compel. Right, okay. So we could do intercepted evacuation. That's ambush convoy, but should be fairly light. Or we could just do this tag team one. I'm actually liking the idea of this tag team. Um, these get a little nutty, but um, but you at least have help. So it's probably going to be like eight on eight. So this might actually be pretty fun to do uh, to kind of wrap this shit up. So let's, yeah, let's save in case this is a completely stupid idea. Um, because at this point, I'm still dealing with having to worry about that. Uh, overheat really isn't a big deal, but I definitely want a base weapon hit. Receiving you. you are still in that. You're gaining Good to go. XP. Let's see. Yes, definitely Let hit defense. Definitely don't want to be hit as much. Um... Yeah, let's do this. Let's do this, unless... Because I really don't need that Shadowhawk. Well, I could wait. You know what? Let's wait one day and let's get Glitch back. Let's get Glitch back. All right. Let's do Tag Team. Power up? What's this? Attack and Defend? Oh, God. So these also get really nutty. But, um... But, yeah. Yeah, I don't think we're... I don't think we're good enough to do that. So basically, an attack and defend mission, you've got a base to defend, but you also have to kill the enemy base. And if you don't do it fast enough, they just keep dropping lances. It's it's a really fun mission type, but with with two centurions and only an archer, oh my god. Um, no, 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 no. I think we're going to do this tag team, and let's... We're, we're going to try this. Um, and normally I don't like taking missions against the pirates, but in this case, we're going to make an exception. So let's get glitch in here. Uh, let's get glitch in to do manage the blackjack. And, um, and we'll keep Medusa in the... Uh, that's a good question. Or I could have Decker in the archer... Yeah, let's have Decker in the Archer, actually. Um, because very rarely do I need somebody with sensor lock on a mech that has a bunch of long-range shit. Um, granted, I could swap out Medusa for Behemoth, but I'm okay with this arrangement for right now. All right, let's, let's try this out. And depending on how this goes, this might be the last mission of the night. Yeah, it's, it's after 11. Man, I'm still doing pretty good. Um, but yeah, this is probably going to be our last mission of the night. We're going to do a nice little tag team. Uh, and if it's, if memory serves, or if at least if past experience has taught me anything, uh, we're going to have a very interesting character where, uh, well, well, we'll just go through that. So anyway, so we detected a joint task force of pirate and pirate units, pirates and pirates, uh, units openly operating openly on the planet. We need to hunt them down and turn them to scrap. But even if we do manage to find them, our own forces aren't up to the task of engaging that many enemies at once. We'd like you to send a lance to accompany our own team. The two of you can then engage the enemy together and negate the numerical advantage. So yeah, it's going to be four and four and four and four. Um, but uh, so yeah, we're going to play babysitter for this mission. And um, we just have to make sure that all four of our allies with the Magistry of Cannabis, um, that all four of them don't die. But a couple of them can die. Um, but... Anyway, it's it's but it's not eight on four for a change. It's actually nice to be eight on eight. See, this is what I was talking about with the colorful shit. Uh, so we've got Agamemnon here. All right, Alpha Lance, the task force is up ahead. Our intel puts them somewhere in this area. Once we've cleared the enemy lances, regroup at this location for extraction. All right, listen, mercenaries, do us all a favor and stay out of the way. Let the professionals work. Is this guy for real, boss? Shit. I say Leo, let him take all the enemy fire. Less overtime hours for my crew. Just stick near them and keep them alive, Commander. Doesn't matter who gets the kills as long as these professionals make it back more or less intact. Settle up, Alpha. Let's clear the AO and go home. Uh, this is Argo Actual. Canopian Lance. We'll cover your advance and that won't be necessary, Argo. We've got this. Just stay put and keep out of our fields of fire. I understood, Agamemnon, but we're under contract to... Then you can lift off and collect your payment. Agamemnon out. 
I would love to do that. They're not going to actually let us do that. It's super lame. But uh, in my experience, this lance ends up being pretty fucking useless. Now, mind you, they've got a fucking marauder and a rifleman and a griffin. That's a good fucking lance layout. And they got a good support lance. That Vulcan should be able to really do some good support, too. If this lance is worth a damn, these guys should be able to do some pretty decent damage. Um, so yeah, and actually, I'm kind of thinking, you know what? Let's just resting my neck. Let's just let them go first, and we'll play backup for them a little bit. Now, I don't know if we get the benefit of the Marauder or not. So the Marauder has a um, has a very specific piece of equipment, and it essentially gives your entire lance a little bit of damage resistance. You take like 10% less damage or something. Um, that's, they're not going to say what it is. Ah, uh, here it is. Yeah, units in this lance take 10% less damage. One sources provide this effect. Uh, yeah, it's only them. It's not all of us. So that, that part's kind of lame, but oh well. Oh well. Um, so yeah, we're just going to kind of stick close to them here. Let's go over here. Don't need to tell me twice. Moving to position. On my way. Yeah, this should be a this should be fun. It is nice to be engaged in a fair fight. The Marauder is an awesome mech. And there we are. And we already got a heavy mech up there. It's that part. It's like, oh shit. <laughs> Granted, I've got a heavy mech. I've got an archer that's 70 tons. But most of my lance is still a medium lance. It's not heavies like these like these guys. Alright, good. So that's light. That's a good sign. So what'll probably happen is it'll be eight on four first, and then another lance will show up. Um we'll see. Should be very manageable. And knock on wood. <laughs> Definitely don't want to jinx it. But these end up being pretty chaotic missions, but um, but they're fun. We do sit and wait a little while. <laughs> That Vulcan's certainly getting roughed up a little bit. Right. So let's see. Who is kind of closest here? Decker and the Archer. We've got me and her. Let's go with you. Waiting for orders. Uh, yeah, let's go this route. Hmm. Now let's fire with you first. Just shoot at the locust. We'll whittle it down its evasion and then we'll be able to do some damage to it. Taking the shot. Wow, nice. Pretty nice that that hit. Of all the weapons to hit, I'm glad it was the AC5. At least I think that was the AC5. Uh, Centurion. Yeah, because I've got the Renegade's got the AC10 Centurion up. Oh, there's another. There's our fifth. Oh, yeah, they're all kind of clustered, clustered together here. All right, so yeah, we're just going to have a nice firefight here in the hills. <laughs> if we're smart, we should just stay in cover and let them breach the open terrain and just kind of take them out as they Wait as they more. advance. Wow, well, not great, but all right. Well, uh -huh. it's fine. So in lore, the AC2, it only does two points of damage in tabletop. And, um, cool. Uh, it ends up being more for, like, anti-aircraft or anti-aero fighter, uh, fire. But it is nice that it's in some mechs that you could do some long-ranged fire support. Um, in this game where the maps really aren't all that great, the AC-2 is really not, at least in my opinion, it's not gr a great weapon. Um, I mean, it does pretty decent damage, all things considered. And it is nice to have range, especially if you set up your lance to the point where you can hit them and they can't hit you. 
perfect. Yep. That locust is nice and fucked up now. So hopefully our ally rifleman can now take it out. I set it up for you. Yep, perfect. There you go. Yes. I love it when a plane comes together. Ooh, they've got a, the enemy's got a thunderbolt. Those are awesome. So we're going to focus fire on its center torso because it's got ammo in there. It's so easy to get those to just blow up. <laughs> oh my God. We're going to destroy that fucking you. thing. Uh, all right. I think I'm actually going to hang out here. Ooh, only 55. Uh, if I advance a little bit, can I do a little better. Ooh, yeah. Let's advance a little bit and we'll, we'll do some damage to that thunderbolt. Roger that. We will take out this Thunderbolt. Yep, there's the Teleram ammo. <laughs> Open fire. Perfect. All right. There go. So far, so good. Looks like Agamemnon got the memo. It'd be really nice if we could knock the fucker over. Now the problem is I don't know which of the four out of the eight are the ones we have to destroy. Most likely, yeah, that Vulcan's probably not making it. Um, the Vulcan went out into the open terrain, and it's also in front, and it's lightly armored. Stupid. That thing's just asking for trouble. But hey, the enemy's shooting at the uh, Magistry's Vulcan instead of me, so I'll take it. Uh, who does the most amount of stability you. damage? Probably me. Probably me, honestly. Don't know if I can knock it over though, but let's try. Let's just try to knock this fucker over. Aw, oh, come on, you can't be missing, man. All right, Behemoth's job is to knock the fucker over. All right, we'll take it. There you go. Good. Doing some nice damage to that mech now. Please jump backwards. No, Toko forward. You're gonna die. <laughs> I do like how the Vulcan looks like a Samus suit. Uh, I will do my best to have an awesome-tastic night. Thanks, Phoenix, for coming out. It's always nice for you to drop in. Even when things aren't going well, we always tend to have a good time here. <laughs> All right, so Hemoth, let's have you. Let's have you advance. And shoot. Ooh. Yeah, you're not going to do shit to that. But I could have you advance. Yeah, let's at least have you advance. Position confirmed. Let's try and knock that thing down. Locking on target. That should knock it over. There it is. Perfect. So we've injured the pilot, and its initiative should go down now too. Perfect. So now it should be in the assault phase instead of the heavy phase, which means Medusa will get a free shot on it. Means the Rifleman will get a free shot on it. Ooh, that sharpshooter could be a problem. Well, it's got a decent amount of evasion, so there's that. Waiting on you, All Commander. Right. Oh, the blackjack. Let's see. Yeah. Can I? Ooh, that's got cover. I still think I like the idea of getting cover here. Still can't shoot the locust though. Fifty damage. Well, you could at least start to soften it up. Got it. Let's do that. Let's start softening it up. Softening it up. We'll do fifty damage to the thunderbolt, and we'll go from there. Hopefully. Well, center torso and leg took twenty-five points of damage. Not too bad. Man, that marauder is already overheating. <sighs> there we go. Left torso is destroyed. Although it'd be nice to destroy the Thunderbolt fast. Oh my god, it 
That is so stupid. Orders? I cannot believe it decided to do a shutdown. That is asininely stupid. Roger that. That is not, that is always an act of desperation. Shit. Well, I didn't hit the center torso. That sucks. <sighs> Damn. Come on, man. Don't do a target on the right arm. That's stupid. Come on. Well, at least we're really fucking up the Thunderbolt. We're being really inefficient with the damage we're doing to it. Wow. I cannot believe that the, the Magistry's mechs are choosing to overheat themselves in this manner. I almost wish I didn't knock over the Thunderbolt to make him that desperate. Um, ugh. I almost think I should be targeting other things now. Yeah, if it's going to do that, I'll target other things. My my time is better spent elsewhere. Really? You're not even overheating. Well, whatever. You killed it, so I can't complain about it. <laughs> We've got half the lance, or lance already. That's good. Actually, I may target this enforcer. Because what I don't want to do is dis is for the, the primary lance to get defeated too fast. And then they ignore everything. Uh, and then leave me kind of with everything else. So let's... I think we're going to go over here. Yeah, I think this is the, the, the good plan. We're going to do that. Let's protect our flank. Do a precision strike to make sure shit actually hits. I'll take it. I like damage. And this Vulcan. <laughs> that's a... Cool. Yep, that's good. Ah, an Avenging Angel variant of the Vindicator. That's pretty rare. Exactly what we're gonna do. Yep. Moving out. We're gonna concentrate on this enforcer while they have their while they skirmish out in the hills. Firing everything I've got. Good, good, good. There we go. Yeah, critical hit. That could do us some damage, but that thing's a glass cannon. I think I'll probably focus on the Jager mech next because those Jager mechs are easy to go. kind of take down. But boy, if you uh, if you don't, um, if you just ignore them, you're in for a world of hurt. Roger that. Yeah, let's see if we can blow off that arm. At least do some damage to the uh, leg at least. Mech power up detected. Yep, Marauder turned back on. I can't believe he intentionally turned himself off and he didn't even kill the mech. <laughs> Jeez, that is just lunacy to me. Oh. Well, I tried to draw its fire. It just chose to go after the Vulcan anyway. That Vulcan is not making it. There's no way that Vulcan is going to survive. Uh, I do think I should at least... Well, I'm going to be in indirect fire anyway. I'm just going to stay there. Wow, well, only 55%, huh? Well, all right. Open fire on the Enforcer. Engaging target. <laughs> Inflicted some heavy damage. Nice. Jesus, that Rifleman is uh, so fucking... Is so, it had so much heat. Even doing nothing, it took more damage from... From the overheating. <laughs> oh shit, they've got a victor. Oh fuck. Okay. New plan. That. I may be just focusing fire on that victor. That victor is gonna fuck us up. Holy fuck. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go after that victor. Holy shit. On the other hand, they sent a fucking victor after me. I could complete my victor from that. <laughs> Yeah, 
yeah, that Vulcan isn't lasting any longer. Any, as long as it take, continues to take fire, though, it's doing its job of drawing the enemy's fire away from us. But you can see how these missions end up getting, like, really fun. There's just a lot of back and forth and... Um, holy shit. And they're firing in the rear arc. That actually probably wasn't even that great of a plan for the rear arc. What All right, so you? what am I doing with that Victor? Uh, cause yeah, the Jager mech is a problem. That Victor is definitely a fucking problem. Um, do I go after the Jager mech first or the Victor? I definitely don't want to go down into that area. Uh, shit. Maybe I should just try taking out the, um, oh shit. Maybe I should try to, wow, man, I can't fire on the enforcer, huh? I guess I'm in the way. If I'm here. All right. So let's, if I go here. I could shoot at it. All right, so let's, you know what? Let's try to take out the Enforcer first. And then we'll worry about the Victor. Because the Victor should move and leave cover and we should do more damage to it. So yeah, let's, let's back up and let's deal with this, uh, let's deal with this Enforcer. Unfortunately, I don't have a good arc on it, but, but we'll knock it down. And we still blew off an arm. Take it. Perfect. Even more salvage for us. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, definitely try to mess up that Victor if you can. Yeah, and then run. Will you leave? <laughs> oh my god. There you go. All right. At least it's showing its good torso to everything else. That Jager mech is a problem. Yeah, I don't know what I want to... At least I have some time to figure it out. I don't know what I want to fire at first. The Jager mech... I don't know. I do have to make a decision. Um, do I shoot at the Jager mech first or the Victor? I'm actually kind of inclined to go after the Jager mech first. Ready for orders. We're here. Is it possible... Well, at least I could get a shot at it. So 70 and 65, or if I'm here, you know what? I think I'd rather just take my higher percentage shots and shoot at it from here and just keep my distance. Yeah, let's keep my distance, but we'll go after the Jager mech now. Target confirmed. Because the Jager mechs are just... Hopefully they'll be willing to donate that victor to you. Yeah, right? <laughs> That's what I'm hoping for, Iron Ore. That's exactly what I'm hoping for. Uh, but yeah, that, that Jager mech is definitely my next target. I hear still going to stay in forest. Wow, I still can't get any closer without putting myself at risk. So yeah, you know what? We're just going to stay over here. Let's go after the Jager mech. Got it. Little by little, we're already wearing its armor down. That's how little armor it has. There you go. Good job, Agamemnon. I'm a little worried that 75% uh, of the pirate forces are already destroyed. I don't want the Magistry booking and running. Because um, if they book and run, my odds of getting that victor plummet. <laughs> um, yeah, 65 or I move down here. Yeah, hell yeah. Moving out. Let's advance and go after the Jager mech. Yep. Fire. On it. There we go. And now it's unsteady. That fucking rifleman, man. You've taken a beating. God damn. There you go. Nice job. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Ho, ho, ho. There we are. Okay, the Jager mech is no longer a threat. Oh my god, you did it to... Oh my god, why would you... That was not worth that. Now granted, you blew its arms off, but that was so fucking stupid. <laughs> They're so reckless. Oh. You absolute dumbass. Wow. Yikes. Big yikes. 
Hey, we'll take 70 points of damage to it. Nice. Oh, they're shooting me now, huh? They're finally shooting at me. I think that's the first time they actually shot at me. Suits me just fine. Whew. Well, that rifleman may not be long for this world. I thought the, the Vic... Uh, and here I thought the um, Vulcan wasn't going to last long. I'm actually Good thinking the... Um, Shit, man. I think I have to start going after that Victor. Because the Jager mech, it's got all of one medium laser. Yeah. Let's start shooting that Victor. Time to die. I cannot believe, though, that the Magistry pilots decided to shut down their mechs multiple times. Why can't the enemy AI do something that stupid? <laughs> yes, Commander. Be nice if they would. Uh, all right, so how am I doing? Yeah, I still think I like the idea of just keeping my distance. Even though it's weird to just stay in one Fire place. On That's normally not a good strategy. You normally want to be moving. Um, but I kind of like this positioning. I've got cover. I've... You know, make the enemy go into the open terrain. Yeah, this might be it for the rifleman. All right. Hey, still holding out. I'm impressed. Mm. Yes, let's do it. Hey. Okay. Yep. Fire. some damage here and it's unsteady we might be able to knock it down medusa really should be able to knock the fucker down don't overheat motherfucker you're gonna overheat well it didn't fire its ppcs it may not have overheated good it didn't sweet decker yes commander yeah nothing on that is damaged enough to warrant that, but just for my own amusement. Yeah, no, you're you still don't have good enough that. But yes. Engaging. Let's see if I can knock down the victor. Excellent. I'm probably better off going for the center torso than trying to play games than going for its legs. If it had lost a leg, I would say sure. Oh, really? How does it get to stand up now? That's such bullshit. I guess it didn't go this turn yet. Yeah, I knocked it down in the heavy phase and then it just stood in the assault. Right, right. I already answered my own question. Damn, that sucks. Well, it's all right. We knocked it down anyway. Oh my god, that poor rifleman. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I cannot believe that rifleman is still alive. There it goes. <laughs> Come here, this is Alpha Lance. We're under every fire. <sighs> Commander, if these guys die, we don't get paid. No matter how much they might deserve it. <laughs> Should be told I'm not really leaving him. Ha I'm not leaving him hang to dry. I'm actually taking out the most dangerous thing to them. Um, even though I do have a slight interest in having that as salvage. Um, I hear ya. Let's see. Ooh, you know what? I could transfer over to this cover. I am going to transfer over to that cover. Because we'll still have high ground. We'll still have cover. But we'll be able to fire more into the melee in a second. Um... I mean, I could go for that, but I think as soon as I do that, they're going to bolt and run. Which would really suck. So we're going to still Tell concentrate fire do. on that. Good cho choice. Yes, 
it's gonna shoot its medium laser at something. Probably the oh, Griffin. Works for me. Better that than the Vulcan. What's up, boss? Uh, I still like the idea of going over here. Ooh, do I do that? Or yes. There we are. Perfect. More day actually. Your case, hmm. Yeah, let's go for that. Roger that. Try and make my life easier. Longer term. Take that. Jeez. We've only taken out half that fucker's armor though. <sighs> Hopefully it chooses to still attack the uh, magistrate units rather than me simply by virtue of the fact that they're more in range of that AC-20. I'm still not really in range of the AC-20 yet. I think I'm only going to advance this far. And yeah, let's fire. Ooh, the AC-20 is taking a crit critical hit though. Perfect. Goodbye, AC-20. All right. So now the victor can't hurt us as much. I actually don't have to focus fire on the victor nearly as much. Its ability to hurt the Canopian units is uh, so reduced now. I could resume working on some of the other units. The Jager mech only has a medium laser. At that point, it's only got two medium lasers left. That's only got a medium laser. We're, we're doing okay. I might actually want to go after... I actually might want to shoot the commando, believe it or not. Commander. <laughs> um... Or I could shoot this locust. I just don't like the idea of... Uh, well, you guys already know my thoughts on everything here. Um, could go after that Vindicator. Or I could just try to kill the Jager mech. Yeah, because even if I knock down the Victor again... I'm not going to knock down the Victor. I'm not doing enough stability damage to it. Let's try to kill that Jager mech. Acknowledged. We should do a shit ton of damage to that fucker. Systems holding. Yep. Let's see what idiocy you guys are doing. Yep, that's what I was worried about. So now what are they doing? Are they going to stay and fight? Well, maybe we still have one more turn with them before they decide to try to make a mad run for the evac zone. Looks like we still have one more turn with them. That's good. Uh, let's... Shit. Or do I knock you down? Decisions, decisions. Decisions, decisions. Go for the Jager. Out. Let's knock the Jager mech down. Firing all weapons. Or kill it entirely. <laughs> Perfect. Target Even utilized. better. I cannot believe that Vulcan is still alive. <laughs> all right. <laughs> nice shot, Vulcan pilot. Well, that sucked. That got through my armor, Commander. Good to go. So we are going to spin you away from that uh, at this point. Let's move over here. And wow, really? I'm still stuck doing that, huh? There we go. All right. Alpha strike the victor. Since things are getting close and all that. Now we precision strike the fucking victor. Even though glitch still isn't all that good with it, but every little bit helps. Take that. Critical hit, commander. Yeah, I would like it if I did more damage to it. 
still so far away from it. Probably better off going after the fucking Vindicator at this point. Damn it. Better off going over there, at least. So the question... Well, all right. Let's go over there, and then I'll decide which of the two I'm going after. Oh, God. Fuck. All right. Now we got company. I don't think he's listening to our comms at all, Commander. Better go handle that second lance before they do some derail damage. All right. Let's, uh, let's try to focus on that victor and try to kill this thing, then. Damn it. And of course, I miss with the AC-10. All right, good. At least that can't hurt me anymore. Critical damage detected. Oh, so we... Oh, good. All right, so we still have to destroy the pirate forces before they can uh, let us leave. Sweet. All right. I hear I was worried they would leave. Uh, it turns out they're not. It looks like they're going to stay and fight. Standing Excellent. By. So... Yeah, all right. Vindicator it is. Make it suffer. Maybe I could draw the victor out and do more damage to it next time. <laughs> Man, I love it when things go explodey. That never gets old. Ran 10 rounds of this shit. Why are you doing a melee attack? You should be jumping and using your long-ranged fucking weapon. <laughs> Good grief. Thank God that missed. So at this point, the odds are now Commander. strongly in our favor. Yes. Copy that. Ah. I think it's what uh seven against two yeah it's seven against two yeah it's seven against two these guys are fucked Confirm. perfect nice shot behemoth Tango down hopefully we get that salvage god if we did all that and we don't even get the salvage for it that would suck so bad Right, it's the right arm. Yep, it's the right arm. So, yep. On my way. Reposition. Yeah, sure. Affirmative. Take damage. We'll, we'll do more damage. I'm still not going to be stupid about this. We'll just fire some LRMs at you. What are these geniuses doing now? Hopefully cooling off. Thank you. Ready for order. I appreciate that. <laughs> Once you actually did something rational. Position. And fire. I copy. It's really I I hard for, uh, yeah, I mean, seven on one, like, come on, this, this Vindicator, uh, it's really hard to succeed when it, the odds have, have gotten so lopsided. But I give it credit for surviving this long. Perfect. Give it credit. Well, boss, how did it feel like to work with real professionals? The targets are down and the good guys made it out. That's all that matters, Meyer. <laughs> so yeah, that was a fantastic mission. We did take some damage thanks to an unlucky hit, but in the grand scheme of things, not too bad. We lost one of our allies, but not the one I thought we would. We lost the rifleman, not the uh, not the Vulcan. So we made 600,000 uh, sea bills. So that's nice. Took virtually no damage, got a lot of XP, 
And there is, oh, it's this 9S and not the 9B. Oh, oh God. They gave us the wrong one. That sucks so much. I didn't pay enough attention to it to see what it was. Well, we still take that salvage because we always take the heaviest salvage for sure. And I think I'm definitely taking the, the good plus large laser. That stinks, man. Um, yeah, the Avenging Angel is a is a really rare one. Um, does it say it's the Avenging Angel? Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe it's not. I think the 1AA is the Avenging Angel, though. But, uh, I mean, I could take the Jagermech Salvage, too, just to hope that it would give me, just to hope that I assemble it sooner. Uh, I don't like actually fielding Jagermechs, because their armor just stinks. Um, but, whatever. Um, Thunderbolts are actually good to have too. Those are, those are actually really nice to put together. But, uh, yeah, you can't pass up a plus large laser this early in the game. Let's see, what else did it give me? All right, well, it gave me two locusts. So we'll be able to put together a locust soon. Sucks that we weren't able to put together the, uh, the victor that soon. But I think what'll happen is once we go to Herodotus, we'll still be able to buy it, which was the plan. So we're still, we're still on track. Um, and I may just wander over to Herodotus real quick just to see if we're able to do that and then what we'll do is we'll do Panzer at the start of next stream and that'll that'll be the plan there but man tag team is is such a fun mission granted it took us it took us a while I think it took us like half hour to do that one mission um it is what it is uh oh yeah we definitely want to do that okay so let's yep mech warrior Work training that. standing by Yep. Perfect. Good to go. Definitely. Yes, called shop bonus for sure. Ready for orders. Decker, we're gonna go with the called shop bonus Training for sure. Complete. Ready for orders. All right, and yeah, sure. We'll mech warrior training Basically. complete. Okay, so the mech bay will repair this real quick. Air. It's probably going to be like 600 sea bills. <laughs> like next to nothing. I don't think there's anything. Oh, yeah, we don't want to sell anything here. Let's go to contracts. Let's see if anybody's willing to pay us to go somewhere. Rolling matter. Oh, they'll take us to Kimi. Um, that's actually a good place to go. Although it's an ambush convoy mission. I'm really not a fan of those. Let's take a look at the star map. How long will it take us to get to Herodotus? That's only 20 days and 60,000 sea bills. That would be, wow, only 13 days. Well, shit, maybe I should take the travel contract and just go to it. Although we're only saving 30,000 sea bills. Yeah, I'd rather just go there. Yeah, I'd rather just go here. Let's do it. By your command. Go there real quick. So as we wrap up here, plus that'll give us time for our um, our Shadowhawk to get repaired. And um, we're still going to get there before. Hello, cat. I know you're ready for bed. Hello, kitty, kitty. She's just rubbing up against my calf right now. Cat. I know you're my weirdo. You're such a good girl. Um, but as we travel here and wind down here with the stream, uh, I'll have to figure out if I'm raiding some. Eh, it's a little late. I, I think it's a little late for a for a raid. Um, I'm probably just gonna shut this down. But um, so we're gonna be playing D and D on Saturday. I don't think I'm gonna stream Saturday morning, but I do think I will stream Sunday night. Um, and I'll either be streaming Sunday night more BattleTech, or um, I'll be doing Job some retro done, gaming. Probably going to be a little more battle tech because why why mess with it? Oh, we're going to do the financial report and then I still have another week to get to Herodotus. Eh, it's fine. Fuck it. I thought I was going to get Herodotus first. It's fine. Um, nope, we're good here. Yep. That's fine. We got a couple of pilots. And as our pilots get better, they cost more. Which makes sense, obviously. But this was... Even though we didn't do any campaign missions, like this was a fantastic... Um... Oh, and it didn't give it to us. God damn it. It probably... It, it, maybe it would have been at Kimi. That sucks. I can't believe it didn't give that to us. Oh, it 
but shit luck. Um, maybe we'll go, well, do we do any contracts? I don't really want to do any missions here. Um, I mean, unless there's like a really, really good one, but, um, local government blown operation, escort, ambush, no, fuck those things. Uh, fuck those missions. Um, those are terrible. Those are terrible missions. God damn it. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's complete utter bollocks. Um, although we may as well go with the ship upgrades here. I should have done that the first time. I totally forgot. Let's, let's install right. this lounge. Team on it right away. Uh, and what we'll do here is we'll save. Um, and then this time, if it doesn't give us the victor, we'll just reload. Uh, we'll do a quick save scum here. Um, so yeah, we will, we will go to Kimi. We'll, we'll go to Kimi after all. Uh, cause we'll definitely get there before the next mission. Um, we'll see if they have a victor for sale. Uh, and if not, we'll just, we'll just load and we'll just do Panzer without it. Um, it would be nice to do Panzer with it though, uh, cause it would make, it would make life a lot easier. Um, oh man, really? Pirates ambush the Argo. Blaring, blaring klaxons interrupt and, uh, otherwise quiet morning routine as several fast moving ships appear pacing the Argo. Darius broadcasts their hail to the bridge. You're flying through our space, strangers. It's awfully dangerous out here. Just awful, especially for a ragged looking... Uh, ship like the Argo, is it? Tell you what, we'll provide you with safe passage for a price, of course. While you consider your options, Sumire pipes up. Commander, if you buy me some time, I could do a rapid fire up of the Leopard. That'll teach him not to mess with us. If I remember correctly, this does not go well. Um, well, let's try stall until the Leopard is ready. Um, oh my god, and now we're gonna suffer a minus one tech point penalty for 14 days. Great. Well, that's fine. The frustrated pirate tries to walk you through the money transfer one more time. No, the last account number is zero, not the letter O. It's never the letter O. <laughs> God, that brings back, that makes me think so much of all these Dell things I always have to do at work. And every time I look at one of those fucking things, I always wonder, is that a zero or an O? And then I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. It's always zero. It's almost never O. Uh, but anyway, just then the leopard leaps free from its docking collar on the side of the Argo and fires a barrage of LRMs at the pirate ship. Oh, so the leopard does have weapons. Um, they quickly recover, launching salvos of torpedoes back at the Argo. The impact feels tremendous, but Dr. Moran raves it off. Those decks were damaged anyhow, Commander. Uh, before long, the pirates lose their resolve and fall back, at which point Yang chimes in. The Argo might not be in any worse shape, but we felt the impacts down here in the mech bay and there's been some damage. <laughs> but all in all... Not a big deal. We're not even repairing anything, so fine. I like that plan. I promise you if you pay him off. Uh, hey, Pokey, what's going on? We're actually about to wrap up. Um, but if you pay them off, number one, you lose the money and the morale goes down. So it's like, eh, kind of yellow this. Let's see. Um, I'm kind of rolling with the dice to hope hey boss, we've just completed those upgrades. that um, that when we get to this new star system, we're going to be able to buy, uh, a, buy a better, a better mech. So fingers crossed here. Usually though, between these two star systems, I can usually put together an archer and a victor. Almost always. That's kind of why I went with it. I was trying to put together marauders and warhammers, and every time I ever went here, I'm like, why is there always an archer Wait or an a victor? Um, so this time I just stopped fighting it. Oh my God, it's gonna do this shit to me. Are you kidding me, you bastards? You know what? All right, fine. Well, rather than waste the time on that, uh, I think what we'll do is we'll just quit. Um, and it was worth it at least to try. So what we'll do is we'll just quit the desktop because when we come back in, we're just going to go straight to Herodotus and we'll do the campaign mission. We'll just do it without the victor. It's it's fine. We can we can do it with Centurions and uh, everything else. We're, we're still better than the, than the default drop. Um, so yeah, we're, we're just going to quit. Um, <laughs> RNG was not our friend tonight, even when it came to trying to, uh, to make everything work. So, yeah, oh, oh, well, um, but that's all right. So that being the case, yeah, oh, and you can see, uh, you know, it helps if I go the different direction here, uh, Cleo in the, in her nest, of course I keep going the wrong way. Um, let's just, here we go. Now we got, there's Cleo uh, over in the background, just in her nest, taking a sleep. Are you a good girl, Cleo? <laughs> 
Um, so anyway, that's going to wrap things up here. I guess what we'll do here is um, let's uh, let's actually let's wrap. Let's go into this wrap up phase here um, and let's let's see what's going on here. Is there actually anybody on where I don't where I could kind of hang out for a good 10, 20 minutes? Um, actually, it looks like Carrie, it looks like Kai's streaming Overwatch. Why don't we? Why don't we raid him real quick and we'll hang out with him for for a few minutes before uh, before Seraph takes it takes a uh, um, Oh my god, I can't even talk now. Yeah, it's definitely time to call stream <laughs> uh, It is it is time so uh, I want to thank everybody for showing up uh, I had a good time as always hope everybody's uh, rest of the week goes well and I will catch up with everybody over on um, in um, uh, this weekend because uh, yeah I, I'm definitely gonna stream again um, on Sunday night just to close out the weekend um, and I'm thinking it'll it'll probably be more Battletech um, but in the event that it is different I'll post an update on tw on Twitter and you're more than welcome to follow me on Twitter my uh, my contact information's on my Twitch page but it's also uh, Resplendent Seraph but without um, the E before um, I think it's without the E and the uh, N, but it's but it's on my Twitter profile. Unfortunately, Twitter limited the number of characters I could do, so I had to shorten it. Um, but my information's there, so feel free to give me a follow there. Uh, it's where I kind of go with updates. Um, but other than that, I think that's I think that's basically it. So uh, I want to thank everybody for coming out, and um, yeah, it's doing the little good old countdown. Um, but yeah, other than that, have a great rest of your week, everybody. And uh, we are ready to raid. So here's Ray, uh, here's Kai. He's playing some Overwatch. And uh, I will see you guys all on the next one. Ciao.